where they reached out to CIG multiple, multiple times for um, can we ram people while they're sitting in Armistice Zone with another ship or a vehicle to open their cargo area? And CIG said, no, it, no I mean, uh, yes, you can. It's, total, it's a totally legit maneuver. It's fine. We don't think it's, there's anything wrong with it. And so he's like, so you can ram. So, okay. And Jack thought, you know, hey, if they can ram an armistice, then why can't I ram an armistice? And I really think when you're, when you're in a, a big cargo vessel like that and people are up in your business, ramming is an effective tool. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Straight up. If you're not in the, yeah, mm -hmm. not in the armistice, absolutely. Especially with little ships. <clears throat> Yeah, if you got a big giant cargo hauler and some little flea is shooting at you, just run his ass over. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, I try not to ram as much as possible, but sometimes, like the other day, I just... There was a buccaneer with full ballistics in my face, and I had an A2 at Ghost Hollow. And uh, I just forward a little bit. Boom! <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> That's all it took. Oh, ram is going to be a big thing, especially when you get physicalized armor. Yeah. People yeah. ram like crazy. Uh, the hammerhead's going to actually be used for ramming then, because it's got. Well, that's, yeah, that's what it's for. Yeah, yeah. it's literally built for it. You're trying to tell me it's not viable gameplay? Well, then you better redesign that hammerhead. Yeah. Better put airbags on the front of it or something. They need to do something. Maybe uh, buff the hammerhead a little bit, because. Um, I was taking on a hammerhead the other day in uh, the A2 with ballistics on the front, and it just smoked a full hammerhead. Just that ain't right. <clears throat> that's not the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, it hammerhead... shouldn't be like that. Yeah, otherwise they need to redo that picture of the hammerheads or escort in the capital ships and put a bunch of C2s out there. <laughs> yeah, there's a C2s and right. ballistic guns on the front. That's all you need. The hammerhead should have uh, re retaliator HP. Oh yeah, definitely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if you look at it, it's got those two arms on the on the port, port and starboard side. No, those are supposed to be shock absorbers, so the yeah. nose can ram in, and then you can board through that front door. Right. Maybe they didn't. I mean, get it's the a freaking <laughs> battleship, you know? Yeah. Barrett sent me a message. He says he's so excited right now. Have I not looked an SC general in the Discord? No, I have Ooh. not. He's totally stuck because he thinks there's going to be a um, a uh, reveal for SQ42. Uh, who is this? Uh, Ferentz. Oh, Ferentz. I mean, they're late. It's 245. They are late. Unless what? it's Breaking like... News. Come on, guys. Were you, were you expecting to keep the timeline? Okay, I got, a, I got a message here. Uh, where is this from? ADI crew breaking news hold on to your flight helmets because we just received intel about a massive announcement capital letters concerning SQ42 and it's coming at 6.30p ADI time US and central what the fuck is ADI time no, if I, I, think all these prime time zones and shit. I don't know I was like dude there's too many fucking uh, clear your schedules rather than trees prepare for time zone. I guess it's just coming at 6.30 ADI time oh US central in parentheses Clear your schedules, rally tunes, prepare for unveiling. That's sure to send sock waves throughout the Wait, first. At six? Is six three no? zero P USC, US Central. Is it already gonna be over? No, it's four forty nine US Central now. You have two I hours, mean, dude. We haven't heard anything about Squadron forty two. This just says Whoa, cheers, J C. Here, I'll I'll send it to you, Skirt. Pipeline Pipeline is saying Tuesday, December 31st, 2024, Squadron 42 release. Tuesday, December 24. When? Tuesday, December 31st, 2024. So next year. So the okay. solstice of next year? I mean, that that might as well be five. I mean. <laughs> yeah, but we've heard this shit before. That's what I'm saying. That might yeah. as well be five years from now if they're going to do that. They've said that many times. Yeah. Until I see it as an actual release or anything, I, I don't know. 
Even then, I don't really care about Squadron 42. I like the multiplayer. The only thing I am excited about is so that I they can push those devs back over to the PU. Yeah, Same. absolutely. Same. They're so late because they got to set up the Squadron 42. Uh, uh, Apparently, they got to run and put their helmets on or something. Yeah. They got to send it to a vertical slice real quick. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're rendering it still. <laughs> yeah. They got to get the hair just right. Come on. <laughs> yeah. The, the hair of physics. The the hair. You can brush the NPC females' hairs. Not yeah, creepy so, at all. Yeah, it takes time to brush all those hair strands. Come on. <laughs> It brushes the hair again. <laughs> or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> <laughs> After all this, someone have to watch Silence of the Lambs again now, damn it. Absolutely. Just a laugh. That's what Scard's uh, lead in music needs to be the next time is the goodbye horses. <laughs> 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 goodbye horses. Lunch, everyone. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, another blonde. Hey, hey. hey there they are. Never forgive you. But for everyone Audio else, guy, fix lunch. it. Welcome back. We're back on the Susan Khan show floor. I don't want to be forgiven. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I never asked for it. For it. I don't need it. To give us the love and support as you guys have been watching the show. Whether you guys have been here. Bring back the blonde in the bodysuit from yesterday. Oh, the uh, yeah, that's definitely deserves a repeat. And that's what we love to see here at CIG. And so we're going to go over to a place that makes Acting all serious. smile. Soul there goes Jared system. again. This is a group that is all about <laughs> diversity and inclusion. Which in way to the system. Squadron 42 panel? You know, gamers. Yeah, you know, right? Maybe you know, you know, no, no, it's too early. It's too early. You got an hour and 45 minutes. Right. Right. Diversity, diversity and inclusion, and inclusion is in their he did. He did. fucking and disgusting. No one does there we go. Citizen. These guys are phenomenal. We got my man Griff here. Oh, I mean, so hey, welcome to the stream. How are you, man? Doing good. But. I don't awesome, know man. why he so needed to, to mention that to begin uh, with. You know, what's been your experience having would be Soul Citizen making this look be this bad, man. huge org that is a safe space for gamers of all colors, genders, sexualities, orientations? What? What's been your guys' experience being Boo. in that, being in that safe what space? What is this, this about? It's first, about yeah. diversity, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know this was an issue. <laughs> they must have heard us talking. Who we are like, is what is, what is this about? Why? Damage control, damage control. really a problem. Uh, it seems like... It seems kind of racist to me to story. even mention that while you're coming. Why are you to... bringing it up? Yeah, why are you? Yeah, no, whatever. This is Fred the black guy. Well, that's racist. Just say this is Fred. <laughs> Dude, he's just a cool guy. I don't care about this. <laughs> I really don't. Outside of Enclave, is this even an issue? I know, right? And everybody pretty much has a different feeling. I got a few people in my group. I got people from guys. all different colors. Like, so even Jared Huckabee yeah. could play this game, is what I'm Marcus, hearing. Marcus, I, so I, I, I don't. For, like, the elder like, so that's do, do you experience this in uh, Star Citizen? You guys doing? I hear you guys are no, this really pisses me off. At the top of every hour, is that correct? Yeah, see, now that's the way it would bother me. It's like, that's Pagan, the white guy. Okay, who gives a fuck? It's just Pagan. He's an asshole. Yeah. They say what our table number is. up. Um, one yeah. of our partners or our friends are the folks with Star Jump Station with Grim, We're all just Ender, people. Why is the we're all just uh, assholes? Yeah. These posters, yeah. <laughs> uh, of their work of the Fleet Viewer, and so we have signed this for everyone. For all the members here have signed it, and if you come here at the top of the hour, if you're the first one, I'll do. There's some shit going on in tech and Twitter. Nobody wants your signature, Station, dude. Sorry. They're a great group, and a, they've done contributed yeah. so much to the community. <laughs> That is awesome. Thank you guys so much. Soul Citizen, come check them out. Again, a safe space for gamers of any Applause button. A safe space. nationality. You guys safe find space. Yeah, it's yeah, safe space. Soul Citizen, if I see any of those people on the server, I'm killing them. Soul Citizen? Soul Citizen. Yeah, SOL Citizen. Shit out of luck. Honestly, I didn't mind Soul Citizen until they just did all this. Yeah, I'm going to kill them. Discord tool. One of those goes to the Twitch streamer. Yeah. I mean, we got people from medical. Oh shit! I've watched one of that guy's streams before. All of our. I mean, to be in other people's discords. It's pagan the cat guy. Absolutely. I'm a cat. I'm not a guy. Don't judge me. Don't be hating. Initiative. Beacon system bot or Abe's for short. Abe's. And say that one more time, just so everyone's clear. What is the name of that bot? The Alliance Initiative. This gave me Abe's watching. The Apes. Bot, I love that. Where you can go. Oh, I said eight. Okay, I thought you said eight. Wow. I was like, okay. Like, dude, you just need to keep walking. Don't stop at no more boosts. 
Yeah. Right. Uh, so every time we get this is not going weird, well. We this is getting weird. How it's gonna affect us? Feeling yeah, a little awkward the now. Fires on the ship <laughs> yeah. We already started talking about a fire rescue unit. Right, Adam. Oh. Okay. Firefighters instantly. The guy is. <laughs> we should have, we have more medical front. people to shoot at now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, more targets. Everyone here has been. They're harder to hit though. I mean, they're not wearing bright red candy canes out outfits. Bending. I was going to really hold on a minute. Have an what? Set piece that has I was going to say, what do you mean? It's, they're going to be hard to hit. Did you see the size? Maybe put your brace on. <laughs> He's got a wide cross section. <laughs> I love that ship, though, dude. That's fucking sweet. That is pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. So if that thing goes missing, don't come looking for it. Yeah, right. I just want it for myself. Wow. That's a Let's lot of plastic. I grabbed that a long cool. time ago so and ran. Imperium, guys. What's up, guys? 3D. You're gonna need help, dude. <laughs> a young, yeah. Charismatic host named. Hey, you come here. Don't ask no questions. Here's twenty bucks. Wanted to steal that Bengal character. Right. Where exactly is it going? Well, if you live in LA, it's actually gonna be staying right in here. It's gonna be down to the Santa Monica office, so it's gonna be present inside their studio. If you go check it out after CisnCon. It's going to be there, there in perpetuity. So what do you think that's 3D printed? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that would take so a long time. Imagine yeah. filling all the fill on the yeah. layer lines on that, too. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, obviously, very well is the answer. So it's been fantastic, man, having everyone here. This is about half of the people we've had. For well, I kind of feel left out. I don't have a cool name with a cool shirt I can wear. I know. What the hell? I need, I, dude, I need a polo shirt that says Guys, something like really weird on it. So we should like make a car you need to make your own shirts. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Scarred by a star citizen. <laughs> yeah. Start branded, fellas. Your symbol can be a sandworm. This thing's look. The level of detail here is immaculate. So thank you guys at Imperium. I know that everyone at the Did you imagine one of those as a Lego set? All right, we're going to talk yeah. about that. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you guys. You know, that thing's heavy. You think it'd be. Community booths. We'll see you guys oh back here again. Yeah, once Stay we set up the group, we'll just universe. start advertising, you know, T-shirts and free punch and pie. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Come in. Chuck some Kool-Aid. It's great. Punch and pie, damn it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. No, we're going to give them weed brownies. Playground. <laughs> I said, hey, at some point during the two days, I don't want to get out from behind backstage. I don't know how to fly. You know, come see what the things are about. So. I'm here in Pyro. Jared is here. flying and, and Star Citizen. Am, of course, an yeah, well, he's got a set of VKB sticks. We'll see oh, how he well. does. I, I want to go to the Pyro playground just so I can steal those sticks. How do I open the door? <laughs> right. It's got an omni throw. I have to take that off, though, when you get it home. Also, you have to take that off. Put them in your yeah. pants. <laughs> right, so what are you talking about? I'm just excited to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll just get a uh, safety vest and I'll, I'll hide it in my station. pants. And when I get so there, I'll the put it on real quick and be like, yeah, oh, there's something wrong with this computer. Together. I got to take it this out. This is where your hubs are. And just right. steal it all. No, no, no. You, <laughs> yeah, you, can't go you, 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 you just need a clipboard and a walk real quick. The yeah. You want to follow the exit sign? Oh, there's something wrong with this computer. We're going to take it out. Another one? God damn it. This is the second one today. Just pick it up, walk out the door with it. No. Son of a bitch. They'll understand it. See, I do. They'll be like, yeah, we expect it. That's elevators. No guarantees on that. Oh. So I'll they got footage look at that camera and say the yes, of the pyro yeah. gameplay, but it's say, no, oh, somebody was streaming it, weren't they? Pyro won't kill you. Uh, somebody made a video of it, right, shot so from their cell take phone. Take the elevator, and where do we go okay. next? Okay, you're gonna go to the entrance. Right. Now we're not even looking at the screen. Oh, so the I mean, why do you need? Why do you need to get to see the screen when you got Jared? No, just, just, just That's right. true. I mean, look at that beard. The inspiration for the new hair. People are tired of seeing my dumb face. There we are. So where am I going now? <laughs> uh, you want to make a left? For real. Thanks, thanks, Jared. We appreciate it. Jared's the only one who understands yeah, around here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Stop showing my face. Stop showing my face. Show him pyro. Cameraman's like. Well, we've seen Ruin Station before in a lot of ILCs. <laughs> this is yeah. the experience that you just. This is nothing here we haven't already seen. All right up here. Yep. So it looks like and the other space up. stations, but a lot, Another a lot there. cooler looking, I guess. So what does this say? I like the uh, Grim Hex vibe. I can't read. Uh, that's cameraman's no, having that's a hard time ready. keeping it still. <laughs> Another elevator. I think, he's, right, I think yeah. he's like he so like camp he's that afraid that of being the, fired. Uh, check me see. Yeah. <laughs> well, his yeah. blonde. Chris is coming down here any minute. Uh, I'm not going to subject right. you to. Don't show the glitched out T posing NPCs. Uh, what the fuck is this orbit camera? Hold it still. Environmental stations starting with living on the edge. So take it away, everybody. No. I don't know. Watch it. It's good. You said Watch it. Pyro. It's good. Us no, show us pyro. You said show us pyro. They showed us nothing. You have a space bub shirt. Space bub has merch, Jim. On the edge. Yeah, I does. didn't know that. 
All right, now we all gonna make sure it's a coaster, I think. Nice. Chuck it. I'm the lead level designer. That's a good idea, honestly. Coasters? Just T-shirts. Anything like that. Yeah. A little boost to your streaming. Design. I bought um. Overview of uh, design, Marcus shirt, you know, a Pagan shirt, you the and I got a few others workflow, I need to get. I bought a Chaos Squad sticker. Mm -hmm. That's so, cool. Um, to break down our process a bit, this is very high level, but it starts out with a pre-production phase, an ideation phase. Here we, uh, everything starts out in the mind. We bring it down to paper, sketch, write, formulate a plan based on our overall design goals. And then it moves on to the blocking stage. You may, might have heard of this, like uh, the white box and gray box phase. Um, this essentially contains all of the gameplay that is space you would see in the final product. I don't product. think it's oh, a UGF. Yeah. Basically, the way it's meant to be played. And we test this out with a lot of iteration and, yeah, a lot of testing. And it's basically the white box is not in a stage where it's presentable. But Did he just down. say a lot of testing? So on the right, yeah. as you see, the food court <laughs> that Adam is going to be showing you later. There's definitely a lot of testies um, in this yeah, game. This is the final product. <laughs> yeah. 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 Lighting. Yeah, we Everybody tested. had to pass on this. <laughs> and level design. Sorry, I'm a little slow on it. I was like, like, wait a minute. Space 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 right? make sure that, <laughs> make sure that uh, the systems... You know what would be nice? Is if I went to the noodle stand and actually could buy noodles. Or pizza. All right. Yes, pizza. Mark the bartenders worked again. Why is the big Benny's machine not working? I want to buy sea nuts and fresh grubs. So all these <laughs> interplay, the interconnect, and also the and coffee the machines at Platinum Bay. I want to be able to make coffee while I'm yeah. um, my ballista to spawn. So it's important to yeah, communicate right. context. And you then stay burn hydrated myself and sue Here CIG for it. Over, you see right. <laughs> little um, sticker warning: coffee hot. Narratively. We see sort of a dangerous environment, the spiky shapes. But then when here, hygiene uh, and bathroom comes in, you're going to be running to the toilet a lot, all that coffee. <laughs> right. We can expect some... Oh, God. Oh, God. I need here, a shit, but, but I can't get my suit off. <laughs> Maybe that's inspiration. Some I'm going to go in Splatinum base. It's going to be a pile in the corner. Then, What's in this loot box? Oh, my God. I'm scarred for life. So goals can be <laughs> the pathways that you take, uh, the, the gateways uh, that bring you from one step to another, and so on. Hey, whoops. There we go. Okay. Uh, since we're a sandbox game, um, a are those gasping weevil eggs? Is pretty important. So or burritos. Meaning going guns and blazing, shooting at everything and everybody. Uh, the same thing when you're hungry. <laughs> uh, infiltration pathway, if you wanted to. Egg rolls. But also all the social aspects that you know from. Uh, Why is my egg roll standing. moving? <laughs> and to do this, we establish. So one of the core design philosophies is granting the player the freedom of choice to do what they want to do at any point uh, throughout their experience. And we do this by establishing uh, or defining multiple pathways of, or archetypes that we call primary, secondary, and tertiary pathing. So the first one is pretty straightforward. In a social setting, you have the goal right in front of you and it's a single goal, so, such as here in the Habs. Yes, because players are going to follow this, this, this kind exposed, of pathing. So it's right. dangerous to traverse this uh, route. Uh, where it gets I definitely never walk off the gilded path. What are you talking about? This outpost here, when you have multiple goals, um, Bro, that can you're supposed be to follow the yellow brick equally road. important to the player at any given point. This is where we need to have a bit more um, design put into it with, for example, the landmarks that serve as orientation points. Uh, so to help you, I'm not making fun of this guy, but he seems really nervous. And leading you no, to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how it was yesterday, all day. Composition. Listen uh, to the guy talk path, like this. Uh, these are secondary pathways, so these are alternative. But this is difficult to do, though. I mean, I don't blame him. Options that are offered really. to you Me either. as you traverse the area on the primary path, for no. example. No, but uh, it's, it's, you can't really so prepare for this either. This tourist, yeah, because they kind of have to have a dev talk about some of this, right? So, sort yeah. of looks is nice this guy a dev or is he? He's a dev. Yeah, they said everybody that you see the next two, you two days is going to be the people who actually worked on the project. In a combat setting, yeah, okay. These are covered. Every time someone comes out, shows their credentials. Everyone's been a dev so far. Yeah, yeah. So no Zylo, you're not going to see any of that shit. Yeah. Mason said in my uh, chat, he said, drunk players need the ability to stumble in a, in a setting, uh, stumble drunk spaces, into a Taco Bell in-game, eat the worst meal, wake up and shower to clean the evidence off, and then walk out asking a dude, where's my ship? 
<laughs> third path that's so true. Tertiary path. Yeah. So these are Mason more well infiltration said. routes, especially. Oh, that's realism. That just sounds like a couple of years ago for me, though, the, honestly. Uh, rundown stations that Anna will be uh, presenting later on. That was like an inspiring dictator. Where <laughs> these find loot or different routes to traverse through the station. I just don't think people are going to actually follow these paths the way they say. Oh, no. Um, it's very important to ground the player to their environment, offering them ways of interaction, uh, being able to change the state of rooms to toy with the AI, or just simply being able to unblock your uh, You, you can hear it in his voice how just terrified he is right now. He is, when and when you're he you're breathes in, too, you can hear that little bubbly sound. Torsten mentioned that we are planning Even people in Twitch chat are like, poor guy. <laughs> I know. Well you know imagine how much of that would suck, though. And I know you're thirteen hundred people. Here to engage with and I gotta go talking to a, a con of yeah. I hope all the people, slides are okay. Nothing fucks up. Turrets, gates, yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah. He's got thirteen hundred people there, I think, systems. and then he's got another twenty-seven thousand watching system, him, and he knows it. Yeah, being able yep. to he's doing great though. He, yeah, he, he, he's doing great. He needs to take a couple of deep breaths. Yeah, he'll be fine. Dependent on security tokens that at this point you can tell he's just like get through it get through it get through it Yeah, yeah, he'll probably yeah, relax a little more. I'm almost done to security yeah. or other areas um, I mean they got to get paid a little bit extra just for coming out here and doing this you think so reputation you hope. doesn't mean it you means hope that Yeah, it's basically you're standing Yes, so I'm not making fun of the guy. This has got to be oh, no, no, I know. terrifying. No, I oh, Dude, I used to teach for an international company on video, and that was only 30 people, and I was I would go crazy. Your play style within this environment. Yeah. So it will define I did this church thing called Awanas, and I kind of was the poster boy for my area, and I would have to go and do speeches all the time. And at first, it was terrifying, you know, getting up in front of 200, 300 people. But then I got Talk used to it. I, as well, I can't. I don't think I could do it now. But back then, uh, after you do it so much, you get so used to it. But these guys, court, there's there's no prepping for this. A, no matter how floors. hard you try, so the first floor to know that the there's you know thirty thousand people watching you. Have a better, yeah. Uh, relationship yeah. With the, as soon as you walk out there on stage, it all changes. <laughs> and they're probably the type of personality that would rather hide behind a computer monitor anyway. You oh, I mean, yeah, the yeah. devs. I mean, that's not the life choice you make when you're like, I'm a people person. I want to run around on screen. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's. But also give you access most of these, like I was saying earlier, uh, most of these people are, people are more at home doing their coding and, and, and whatnot behind a computer than they are standing up in front of this. Yeah. And I, I don't know which one of you guys said it, but praying to God that your slides don't mess up or, you know. The lights somehow it's, go it out because it's it's even though it's not your place, fault, it's your fault. And yeah, our ma main goal yeah. right now is to not have that. Yeah. Well, even streaming is is uh, yeah easier to do than this kind of thing because even though you got mm -hmm. let's say you're a big streamer, you got thousands of viewers, the factions or the owners of it's still just you talking to the screen and chat in your office or in your yeah. house in your house. So, there, so it's totally yeah. different. New stuff coming as well. Yeah, um, with the it's a foreign environment. They're up on a stage. With, uh, yeah, the, the yep. portion. Well said. Uh, we are also looking into rates. But yeah, um, that's it for me. Interesting stuff they're talking about. Now. I can't really tell. Uh, Hope you've enjoyed this. Something about Just routing and pathing. Oh, yeah. 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 Routing and pathing. And they're oh, yeah, that's up nice. Social like... combat, stealth, and then so, for the social um, stuff, Eddie, it gets divided up into, well, for all of them, it gets divided up into a primary, a secondary, and a tertiary um, path. Before we start, I'd like to mention that all of the footage you're about you. to see comes from our current... I want to see NPCs of bunkers so outside using those gun tech, turns. All of those features. Yeah. yeah. You, you come around the corner, it's like, whoa, get mowed down by a little gun now, sitting up there. A mounted gun. Those features are right. Gonna That'd be cool as fuck. Or just having them guard it, you know? Yeah. I just wanted to get the comments a little bit there. Um, so with that said, or the ability to go down and turn the turrets against well, enemy 
I'm really Chips. excited to show you. Right you can hack them and you can turn them off. But if you could hack them and then turn them so it's on your team side. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're doing a bunker. The enemy ship comes in and lands and takes the guns. And now you got to come outside the bunker while they got the turrets. how we achieve that variety from the library. Trying to retake the outside. That would be. Oh, hell yeah. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Dynamic fight from inside to back outside. In 2021, oh yeah, uh, we showed this new style of outpost for the first time. Now, at this point, we had some last year style locked in. Um, or yes. two years ago. Oh my God, really? Yeah, I thought it was last year, but you're right. It's two years ago. Like this one, jeez, but with a limited amount of variety between each one. That's that's a problem. No matter how like, cool some of the point. shit looks, um, we established our main building <clears> modules as well as it's some really hard. Buildings, yeah, it's really hard to get too excited because and dressing. One thing I would like actually. But one thing I would like to see them add is both good guy, neutral, or well, three things, good guy, neutral, used. and um, so that library today. bad guy settlements, not major cities, but settlements where yeah. you can trade so, and buy and all. Oh, that. yeah. Yeah. To yeah. Go to a little cantina or something, a little, each outpost and have little a bar down there. Exactly Dude, can you imagine going down there, maybe like meeting like a gun dealer or like a drug dealer? In terms of yeah. Go down hell, to a yeah. cantina, like, well, hey, yeah. you know, there's a little market. Imagine being able to build your own outpost and then once you get to pick up everything, NPCs start coming to visit it. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I'll go into get that. your own go into economy rolling a little bit yeah mm -hmm. yep. oh we need a challenge yeah. some location you like can do this. the same thing you evil see, outpost neutral or good location yeah straight up quite straightforward i know we're kind of huffing it's about giving our artists the the yeah, the yeah. Yeah. here but <laughs> these are all just dreams yeah yeah hopium right share that same basic dna so it's about creating both the ingredients at the same time as the recipes and making sure all of those flavors work in harmony with one another for both visuals and gameplay. So every individual part has I mean, to be taken cool, into buddy, consideration. But all of those you haven't really used so these outside of derelict outposts or derelict der 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 spots, and the derelict spots are just crash sure ships. None of, none of them really have with that. Those same principles yeah. When an artist or a designer combines them into any a lot of these structures look like they're coming from the pyro. Uh, the yep. Have to work with, yeah, uh, yeah the that's probably what it is. I mean. With base building and all that's still supposed to harmonious. be a part of it. I'd rather see them working so, on that instead of these prefabs. Yeah. 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 Like, I'd like to see them um, showing a player, library, even if it's just like white box, putting, you know, so floors and basic walls up. Repetition mm -hmm. between right building up. Like their own thing. And we can't yeah. call some of these large locations. Even if it's just basic so fucking shapes. Become something more like settlements Absolutely. A yeah, like um, like Starfield does when you do the base there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, as a player, it will mean a lot more. Well, go a long Star way Wars, Star Wars Galaxies. I don't know if anybody here played that, but I did. It had a crazy structure, city building system. You could build all kinds of shit, just entire cities on planets, which was kind of shitty because eventually the entire planets became cities. Or attack from but, a neighboring outpost, right. or on the opposite side, you might be stealing, it was pretty cool, destroying though. vehicles for the criminal game. Yeah, but then you got play, like players like. In the art Us, department, we always say show would go around bombing so people's shit. Slides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because we can. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, oh, you don't have oh. turrets here? You're about to learn today. <laughs> yeah. Kind of oh, yeah, fair man. point. I didn't I didn't even consider that. Yeah. Or so, uh, like, some kind of demise. I can't find any cargo traders, so uh, here, look at this is trading outpost. Boom. Take all the cargo from there. <laughs> right. Have to raid an outpost like Rust. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. would be really cool. I yeah. enjoy that. Hey, Miss Levski, want to see that picture? Yeah, where's Levski? I wish I was there. Like, around. Probably a year outpost. away. Honestly, yeah. it's probably a year away. Yeah. If they would make actual places like this that look like this with streets and NPCs, landing pads. Yeah, and even the, if you can just land outside like you do with an outpost, it would be cool True. as hell. Mm -hmm. And with their their NPC model they're trying to shoot for, NPCs would, you know, come from stations and eventually visit here. Yeah. Well, that yeah. was all the pyro thing from, from two years ago when they did the whole artifact thing. That was the same yeah. station. Yep. So, uh, same I demo. Really flavors like of outpost did we just see there? Well, 
we categorize know. them in two different ways, as I said, and then we mix them. And then you could do like yeah. nine tails or dust, duster takeovers of these settlements, or oh, even yeah. be, as, be the bad guy, play that as the bad guys and fight off against uh, police raids and shit. Yeah. So I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Peg, and I think uh, the one on Pyro 3 that they were shooting and breaking, that's the only like newest uh, outpost style, right? That's my understanding. That's yeah. my understanding. I may be wrong. You know, I used to stay on top of all the ISCs and all, I mean, anything development-wise that came out of CIG, I was on top of it. But a couple of years of doing that, a few years of doing that, I'm just like, well, nothing new is actually in the verse yet. So yeah, flora right. fauna is interesting. Are we gonna be able to farm? <laughs> I'm still waiting on my space fishies that fly through the air. Right. Are they sure space we're getting space whales? Space whales. Yeah, we're getting oh, space whales. Oh, dude, there was a Reddit post. Well, there's a Reddit, but there's a shitload of Reddit posts. But there was one where this guy's been trolling. Trading posts. And he's like, CIG never shows anything that doesn't come to fruition, and I put. Sandworm, and that started all conversation. Farms kind of <laughs> Somebody saw Tad, Todd Pappy and asked him about the sandworm, and he rolled his eyes so and said, "Maybe after the with space whales." As a primary category, <laughs> in addition, we mix in a secondary uh, category, and these are the thematic overlays. Now, at the moment, we have two main themes. I like how we Star Citizen does the ISCs and stuff like that, and the Star Citizen lives, and it's so cool and stuff. But trying to keep up with that, on top of the things that go on on Spectrum, um, the things that go on in game, et cetera, et cetera, it becomes exhausting trying to keep track of it all. And it's not in a central mm -hmm. location either. Nope. Nope. So themes don't change yeah. The fundamental well, especially if you're a YouTuber and you're doing videos about it, I can imagine that just because that CIG failed to deliver on the promise and because you hyped it up, the next thing you know, your viewers are going to be coming after you going, well, hey, wait a minute. Well, you said it was going to be here next week. Yeah. It ain't here. Where the fuck is Where it? Where is it? And it's like, well, right. I'm sorry. that They said, I don't know, you know. I kind of want to go after all the YouTubers that have spent the last anywhere between two weeks and a month hyping up that pyro's coming out end of the year and uh mm -hmm. i'm sorry that ain't happening yeah I well, they're still doing it, it happening they're still doing it they're gonna I've keep seen... doing it until q4 of this year yep and then they'll be on to something else talking about something I, else i think you have a better chance of squadron 42 coming out than than pyro yeah. There's probably more work That's going into SQ42 right now than Pyro, to be truthful with you. Yeah. It seems like Pyro is on hold. It, I haven't heard them say anything about actively developing Pyro yet. I mean, they're showing a lot of demo footage of fucking Pyro. I, I believe it's done. You think you're just waiting for jump gates? Yeah. I, I think mean, they're just... waiting... It's probably for the, the server meshing technology yeah. to, to figure well, out. You know, that's a fair point. Otherwise, we wouldn't have the Pyro yeah. playground. That's a fair yeah. point. I, I, think, I think it's done. Like Marcus said, so I think it's done, and they're just waiting player, for more Jesus tech. Much more gotcha. Which, who knows how long that could take. Um, the primary yeah. visual read across both themes, so across both I mean, to be fair, it looks like they are only, like, in the infancy from stages from of that server meshing or that zone mm -hmm. server stuff. Yeah, yeah binge in my chest that Pyro's done. With single, stelling, single story dwellings yeah. built from stucco. Well, the one that yeah. they showed yesterday had the like the purple, the green, and the and the red, wasn't it? Or purple, green, and blue, whatever it was, the three colors. Yeah, the zone mesh. Yeah, the zone servers. Yeah. But that's all G like Scar and I were talking about on Discord earlier. That's all G G geographically based. I mean, that's not viable because if you get like sixty people that all go to Lorville at the same time, that one server is going to be struggling while the other two or three are like, "Hey, dude, ain't nothing." Happening here. Yeah, yeah. Right. What they showed us was yeah, yeah. nothing, nothing anywhere near the scale or yeah. with any of Star Citizen stuff in there. That was all individually built yeah. just to run that demo right there. Yeah, yeah. It needs to be more based on like server load or oh, player okay. count or something can like you guys that. Hear me? Oh, yep. Yeah, we can hear you. Yep. So that doesn't really like give us much info, like where they're at with this tech. They could still be where they were, you know, three months ago. It not fucking working at all. True. My, I had a hiccup in my internet, so Twitch oh. died. Everything died for a second. Now I got a oh, man. yeah, I got a spinning on both of the monitors yeah, for you. Well, right now they're showing epic music and in different music this time. Row. Different yeah. music this time. Yeah, so we're just crowds walking around. 
They killed a guy I in think, the... I think right. they should nerf crouch walking. You know how hard it is to walk like that in real life? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's not even holding a heavy gun and that, ammunition that grenades. That animation looked great. Yeah, it did. I'm just instantly transforming and falling. Yeah. Scarred your back yeah. on my end, buddy. That takedown uh, animation from long distance looked cool. It's not like how it's all like no jank. They like warp, snap into position, and then fall. That's a new turret. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ballistic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck are you shooting at? <laughs> Boom. Well, where's those Let's juicy announcements, CIG? I gotta go. You got an hour, buddy. You got an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right, at the very end. Well, I'm surprised they haven't sold a ship yet. Yeah. Typically, they sell two, two, two to three. They sell a under 100, they sell a 250, 260, 280 ship, and then a 500. They've sold the yeah. under 100 and nine. The... Still got time. Oh, yeah. Some spaces He's are get ready to check his bank balance here in a minute. versions of the independent theme, but some have been completely changed to more uh, nefarious purposes. Maybe um, they kind of heard some of the feedback the about all the other ships lately, the F8C and the. Yeah, it could be. It <laughs> could be. Just earlier. Maybe. Um, the I just don't think marketing's going to let that fly too long. Combat. Yeah. But Maker's like, we need more money. Yeah. More Where's my money, bitch? <laughs> we need a Christmas bonus from last year. We need our bonuses for this year. So if you was a player, yeah. you'd be a criminal yeah. working up your rep with a headhunter gang. You'd be welcome at the trading post, and you'd be able to buy and sell items or take on missions. You missed everything, Squirrel. You missed everything. Chris must want to go uh, vacation overseas. Experiences. Gotta get the sales in. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder when they're going back to Asia to talk to the Chinese people about playing Star Citizen again. Right? That would be a hard sell because China doesn't like that kind of stuff. He's going to have to make a lot of changes if he wants to actually do that in China, from what I understand. I'm not an expert, but from what I understand. Yeah. Like Star Wars has to do. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, even Apple has to make changes, and they're fucking huge, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think things have gotten I, I weird. Could be, I could be wrong. I know they do like a lot of weird stuff. I think one of the stuff is like um, they don't use the Force in China's uh, Jedi, uh, Star Wars because it's what? The magic witchcraft. And it's uh -oh. not allowed. Well, that's half of being a fucking Jedi. Yeah. yeah. I mean, who wants to be a Sith that runs around and just doesn't like kill people with like magic? I think they, I think they talk about it, but they just never like show them shooting lightning, picking people up, throwing objects. Interesting. Well, shit. Then you just got Call of Duty. I mean, why even play? Gameplay within a small ecosystem of a planet. Wait a minute. Pyro release. What is this? Experience. Frontier future. Pyro release. Optimization and polish. Outward expand. Thank you, Mrs. B. You are amazingly, you are even more beautiful with a coffee pot in your hand. <laughs> I'm sorry. So that was. No, baby, but thank you. See you all. I'd like, I love you too. I'd like to see the stuff in game and not just be on a concept board all the time because we see yeah. this on a concept board all yeah. the time. But I mean, these are their step goals, right? So they're going to yeah. release Pyro. So we're not going to get all these like uh, outposts and stuff with it. They're going to release it, optimize it, and then start putting in the stuff. It says. Right. I'm a son of director. And I'm here today to show some you turbulence. the next new derelict settlement we did. But just before that, I just want to say thank you to everyone who worked on that mandate. It's You guys made an awesome work. I'm I mean, these are cool, but we already have, like, what, 28 of these things throughout Stanton so already? Let's to the chase. Yeah. yeah. Let me present you. And each of, and every one of them is just as boring as the next one. Yeah. Except for I those mean, hollow. They were cool yeah. when they came out because they added NPCs outside. That was the big mm -hmm. thing. When mm -hmm. they first came out, and now it's it's everywhere, so it's not so special anymore. <laughs> Adam's trolling Squirrel, You're like you missed the SQ42 release date. <laughs> totally Squirrel, and we will oh, not yeah, repeat it either. It. You will yeah. not repeat it, Mister. Yeah, it's out yesterday. Yeah. Well, we can't repeat it because we got to make the videos, so you just got oh, to yeah. catch the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's called clickbait. Yep. <laughs> this song again.
Like it's a microtech? Like it's a microtech? That's no hurts my eyes. Yeah. They can imagine how bad that is in HDR. Right. Imagine how bad that is in HDR. Most yeah. of the bright stuff like that is just a washout. Yeah. That snow is somehow more wider than I am. <laughs> <laughs> the snow blindness in SC is even real. For real. Yeah, we're going to be sitting here with snow goggles on. Yep. CIG just loves extremes. I love how the trees are changing. Yep. Um, CIG has... CIG has two extremes. It's either way goddamn too bright or way goddamn too dark. There's no yeah. in between. <laughs> this looks like it's all in Microtech. Mm hmm. Uh, I think Iron cool. 3 looked, looked pretty lush somehow. Yeah, which yeah. is surprising with a star that's dying. Like, yeah. that doesn't make sense. Right? Whatever. This looks like it's got to be on Lorville, Hurston. That would be cool just outside of Lorville. Yeah. It really would. A little oil platform kind of thing. I like it. Yeah, or even some kind of mining or something. Yeah. Is that real water? Can right. we jump in the water? Can we swim? Not yet. I've seen no, no swimming. Like it's fake water. Yes, the fake water still. Yeah, once you fall into it, you just run across the bottom like normal. It's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because that's what happens. <laughs> yeah. This, um, I, like I said, this this looks really cool, and I would mm -hmm. love if this was in game. This is this yeah. looks awesome. Yeah, this, this looks, looks like really a settlement cool from Fallout. Until, until I'm on the oh, bottom yeah. of the water there with the sniper shooting you off the platform, <laughs> and you're like, "Where the fuck is he at?" <laughs> or you fall off yeah. the rail, and well, that's it. You're fucked. You're gonna be walking for twenty minutes. Right. <laughs> Game over, man. Made Game more over. Force, not just for we made more than that. So we split those settlements in two categories, social and our style. In the social one, it will have drop-off mission, shops, food, loots, and drinks. Did you make more than four, or did you I make four and copy and paste them everywhere? <laughs> yeah, and again, they're just talking about derelicts. Okay, so we're picking up outside now. It's the same mission, too. Pick up the box, get yeah. 9K, right? Yeah. Okay. Now he's got core box. armor in his hand. It's like some That's kind of mining, mining stocks, it looks yeah. like. Wait, why are there people sitting in his ship? You saw that as he was running yeah. by, right? Well, it's important to have escorts, dude. There's pirates yeah. out there. Yeah, they, they look, look like, like NPCs. escorts. They can go <laughs> grab the box for me? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Adam, that's the same thing I was thinking. It's like Waterworld or Mad Max, the the oil platform and shit. Yeah, it does look like that. So are we getting boats soon? <laughs> yeah. Soon TM. Yeah. Did I get a boat? You, did you buy a 400i two years ago? There you go. The 890 looks like a like it would float. It does, right. actually. It, it seriously does look like an actual oh, boat. Bar play. Yeah. Here it is. See, now that, that's, cool. that's where you would go to meet like a drug dealer or an arms yeah. dealer. Right. Sit down and have a beer. Be like, hey, dude, yeah, I'll buy your shit. But he you still has a terminal fucking... over there right. instead of a person. Yeah, you should be buying it from a person. Yeah. I think yep. at settlements like these, like these old run-down ones, there shouldn't be terminals to buy from. It should be an NPC. Yeah. How is the terminal going to run? Exactly. There's no power. Give us a little uh, a chance to, t to haggle with them, too. A little percent chance to haggle. Get a yeah, the higher you rep, the lower the lower price you pay for the drugs. Yeah. Hell right. yeah. Take the hair guy and put him on that. Yeah. Take all the hair guys. <laughs> <laughs> Use the hair, guys. Yeah. Fucking hair. Yeah. <clears throat> it would really add a cool flavor to drug running, though. Honestly, that's the way that it should be. Yeah. And even have some armed oh, guards sitting next really to him or something. Too. 
Oh god, the grenade glitched for a second. Did you see that? I saw the yeah, NPC dude. flip around too. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. Don't ever use grenades in this game. <laughs> Unless you want to blow yourself up, of course. All right. I like the end. The end Why'd the, the end. ship blow up? All right, yeah. sorry guys, we're going to have a lot of new location on planets. Links with nice mission and good game. Adam says he thinks he's on your Discord somewhere. Will be in yeah, this year. Uh, I was just talking shit to him a second ago. Good. Give him lots of shit. <laughs> yeah, I know, I should. He gives me lots of shit. So, thank you very much. I will let now Adam... Hi, bro guy. To show you more good uh, I don't know. He's back. Nope, nope. Thanks. Nope, it's not Ivor. Um, Hi, everyone. All right. So, welcome to Rusty Station. Adam I'm Sanders. Adam Sanders, lead environment <laughs> artist for EOM. <laughs> We're excited today to show you our efforts for the Pyro Rest Stop Stations. So, what are Pyro Rest Stop Stations? Well, these are stations reinvented. These have new themes, uh, archetypes, shit. and gameplay. Really? <laughs> To support new and really we, we were just at the space station a few minutes I ago know. aside from the social aspects there is gameplay and exploration on the location. i was hoping i'd catch something here but uh i have to go for now guys this was fun all right we'll yeah. let you know how, for... um, we'll let you know you missed a lot but not tell you what you missed <laughs> yeah, yeah it sounds good man yeah. all right see you nice later, meeting man. you guys it's a real pleasure thanks for having me on i appreciate it for the thanks for hanging Peace. we plan yeah. six Planets. Enjoy the rest of the show. Oh, 07, guys. Including oh, later. Stations 07. Next for Stanton and future systems such as Magnus. Rest stop stations are either in Wait, we're talking about Magnus, space. but Pyro's not out yet? Is that what he really Pyro said? I thought he just he said something about Magnus. Are they going to release three jump gates at once? Planet 2, the Grange Point 4. Otherwise, no, just check Magnus. The stations are there. Pyro with another station or with another system at the same mm -hmm. time. I think Terra or I, I think Terra probably be Eden, one of the later ones Eden. that they work on. Yeah, or was it Eden or something like that? Nyx? I know Nyx's supposed to come out or Pyro. Or oh, it was like Nyx, yeah. That's what they could release two at once. It looks cool. Yeah, it does look badass. Who controls it? The pirates? Well, probably, obviously, yeah. Oh, uh, Pyro? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, Pyro's supposed to be uh, Nine Tails controlled. Because there's not enough bulk resources for the main players to be here. It's basically just scavengers. Scavengers and scoundrels. Are yeah. they going Are they gonna do the, the pulses from the star still or is that out the window? Oh that would be awesome if they did. Who knows? Probably later when they do the game content release for it after the optimization. Yeah. As long as they don't make it just a lighting effect, it needs to actually do something. Like your ship just doesn't fly right while that pulse is going, or it goes dead like an EMP pulse or something. Right. Yeah, it'd be kind yeah. of sick. Yeah. Like maybe one of your engines output lower, so it kind of like pulls you to the side. Something. It, it needs to fuck with your ship. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And they can sell you a more heavily shielded ship. Stations, we have three mm -hmm. points. Pyro can so sell special shields to try to shield against it. That's true. Yeah. But take like less, you know, laser shots or something. It also relates to oh yeah, specialized shielding. Mm -hmm. For like towards like the EM band and stuff, like X-ray bands. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Including social areas. So, like, when a wave goes off, you might be, you know, unaffected while they are, and that gives you the upper hand to win the fight. Yeah, or get the fuck out of Dodge. Yeah, or even it out so your mm -hmm. lower damage take ability doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. Now you get free shots. The, the lore with Pyro, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it? Like, the corporation strip mined it to nothing. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Py Pyro Malgic. Pyro... Something amalgamated? Pyrotechnic yeah, amalgamated, that's it. It's supposed to still, like, the stuff's still supposed to be there, but, like, all the big bulk of it's gone because the corporations took it all. Yeah. So you're still supposed to be able to go there with the mole and find asteroids of it, but no big bands of it. 
Well, they need to make it super valuable though if they want the miners out there. Yeah, th yeah, yeah. It's, it's supposed to have like all the the rare stuff out there in more quantity. I'm but it wouldn't be as high quantity as like other areas when you get the Orion chip. Yeah. Did, yeah. Adam wants to know, did they announce Nix yet? And did they put a jump point at the other end of Pyro for it? I, I haven't heard an announcement or seen it yet, but there is, you guys have? There I is a the map you can go to. There is a map that you can pull up. Uh, let, me, I mean, let me see if I can find that link for you, Adam. I'll throw it in chat. Or, yeah, or if you can get in the game, you could hop in. There's three jump points in, in the map right now. There you go, Adam. Now, this this may cause your computer to bug out or go real slow, Adam. It's a graphically intense website, but that's the link. I wonder if somebody's trying to look for a jump point. A well, you, jump point. Yeah, you can go to the system and it will show you all the jump points right there. And I'm talking about at the uh, at the Pyro Playground. Some oh. Happen. They look oh. for the jump points. Each station. I thought there was only one station in Pyro. That's what the, it was supposed to be, but he said 26 stations. And three okay. planets, though. So. So I guess they're changing it. It's going to be a lot fuller than it used, they first said. Uh, maybe. Because initially they said it was only oh, one station. Right station. station earlier. Let's yeah, see the, be, to the go space. refill and everything. So how does yeah. the reputation gate in the entry deck affect gameplay? What happens if we have good reputation? So if you had good re reputation, you could go straight through. This is no fuss, and it's the quickest way to maneuver through the station. However, you've got to put the time and the effort in to get to this point. What happens if you neutral reputation? So you might be waved through. Maybe you have to pay a bribe, and you don't want to pay, so you can have to find an alternate pathing. Or you can have to build up your reputation. If you have bad reputation, and for all you to ones out there, I know some of you exist, this applies to you. In short, you're going to have a tough time, but you have options. So stealth via other pathways might be one of those options. You build your reputation. Oh, up yeah, because I'm looking at that map you sent. It doesn't show Pyro 1, 2, or 3. Pathways. It just shows Pyro 1. The modules mm -hmm. in the station are broken Monarch, up into several so. traversal areas. Yeah. As with the other location Bloom. archetypes, we define the Bloom was a pretty one. Bloom was a pretty one. Routes, as opposed to the more. Weren't we talking about this path. car during one of your streams? Most modules are interconnected about with vents. Getting in and out of space stations stuff. when you're like a the pirate. You shouldn't be able to get in and out of like Loreville and stuff. Yeah. As well as potential loot. Yeah. So we alternative we, we did to enter this yeah. access the station. And we talked yeah, about we also did. it'd be nice to also be to access the station if you had EVA beef with uh, exterior. Art Court so Crusader wouldn't probably really care that much unless it was hideous yeah. crime. Yeah. yeah. These alternative entries allow the player to circumvent the ATC loop completely. Useful for when your reputation with the owners would normally prevent you from going through more that, efficient There you go, right there. This is cool. These service spaces yeah. that provide content aligned on. or against aligned or against the owners of the station. The maintenance hatch access points are a new common sublocation to the stations. The stations are planned to house maintenance areas that increase the interconnection between all the different sub areas of the station. They act as alternative pathways the player can take to traverse from the entrance area to the Galleria, for example. Now let's have a look at our main social space. The market. A central location for the controlling faction, it houses all their nefarious activities. You can participate in their endeavors if you have the right rep. Let's have a look at some of those key features. You go, you go up there, what are sea nuts? And then he just drops his pants. He's <laughs> <laughs> <Sea> nuts. <laughs> you see him? <laughs> Adds new gameplay opportunities. What, you can eat a living worm with yummy horns on it? 
Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> nice. Oh, Your yeah, guy should get sick if he eats too many of those, you know? He should, like, barf or something. Right. So the market is a social hub and a good example of no making space, social nothing and gameplay space, as mentioned by Khan earlier. Another reputation gate can be found in the market. The ground floor is open to the common public. The upper floor is reserved to rough and ready outlaws and their associates. If you have increased reputation, you can access the area. You can access this area, which gives you access to premium items, top tier mission givers, and access to new areas. We plan to house mission givers in both tiers that will give you unique jobs to further your reputation and fame across Pyro. Now let's have a look at another theme. And was asking if he gets high from the non social the bikes. location theme. <laughs> That'd be let's nice. have a quick look at the current abandoned area on Checkmate. You should have eaten enough. I mean, this is cool and all, but... Why did it block Scuttlebutt? I don't know. <laughs> YouTube blocked the word... Blocked that, I guess, because of Scuttlebutt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> what? This weird shit, man. I, you I think Scuttlebutt is really the water fountain. Is it? Yeah. I, I, I said in his Twitch chat, uh, he was talking, me and him were kind of talking smack back and forth, and I was in his Twitch, and I was like, well, your mom, and it blocked that. What? Yeah. yeah oh, I, dude, wow. I remember, I remember when I was in boot camp, we had this, uh, we call them RDCs, they're like, the, you're like your drill sergeants for like boot camp. Yeah. And he was like a really gung-ho military. Mm -hmm. Like everything was straight and arrow about it. He said Navy phrases, which no one so ever says. So we have entire abandoned stations. Right? As so he's locations. like, go clean the scuttle butt. On top of that, and that was my first time hearing it. I bust stations, out laughing. Like the ones I'm like, what? The, the, the scuttle butt? There will be around 15 of these like, around the pyro system. What the fuck system. is that? These are accessible dying, through airlocks right in so much and trouble. breaches or other means. We aim to enhance all the Into space locations the with a lot more gameplay content. Your, uh, your mattress story Loot had runs, me cracking exploration, up. creatures, oh, yeah, missions of various types with PvE and PvP content, just to name a few. We're also laying a focus on the Brian environment, says environment, if you eat too many of the bugs, you'll step outside and see the sandworm. Of right. Occupied station. That's what I'm doing wrong. With the future... It's in the game, I'm just not high enough. ...and the resource network right. system. We will have the means to further improve the experience within these st spaces and offer new challenges. With power, life support, and gravity playing a key role to give the player a unique experience, especially I love in a bad that in stations. Twitch chat, there's people so, like, oh, none of you have any idea what it's like to dev a game. And it's game. like, dude, none of this so stuff more in here is like super groundbreaking. Like, with more yeah, gameplay it cool. It's pretty, station location. but AI pathing, that exists in other games. Hidden area, you know, mm -hmm. multiple options. Zone, zoning access, servers that exist in other games. Server meshing exists in other games. So all of this stuff exists in other games. Yeah. It's just, I don't understand why it's been so slow to get to this point. For combat on location. I personally think so that I you've enjoyed their frequent visits by Chris and had a telling to people to scrap their work and start it over in different ways. That concludes the living on edge presentation. Thank you for your time. There's, I don't know. I, I think a lot of the devs try to do a good job and are are trying to do their best, but then hey, they, they just they get told to be to scrap their shit and start on something new. We are mm. almost to the end of CitizenCon 2953. Can you believe it? Two days. It was a short day. Pyro. Star cloth. Star cheeks. Star hair. Star cheeks. Star Cheeks. Star yep. Cheeks. Citizen. All right, we've still got one more presentation to go, but I have a couple announcements I have to make. Um, this was just handed to if me. If you're by parked the in a white Ford, Ford team, please so move your vehicle. Uh, Astro Pub. Astro Pub. Uh, you're going to need to redo your lore video your, on the history of Your Zeus. white Ford Bronco is moving slowly down the I 10. Uh, Geo, you need to get some Sorry, money. Sorry, bad joke. 20 years late, too. Uh, Othi, I need to be invited to the next ladies' night. Burks, this just says get good. He's somewhere in that <laughs> crowd. Is he even here? Uh, fast cart, slow down. Uh, Gabby, just thanks for my bracelet. And Salty Mike, don't forget to pick up your check on the way out. Ooh. <laughs> You 
you know, that joke is so old, we would never, ever pay him. <laughs> All right. So the last, re- wow. the only real announcement I have is that Hall B is closing at 4 o'clock. So that's approximately 15 minutes. So if you wanted to get merch or anything else, you wanted to peek at one last community booth, you've only got about 15 minutes left to do that before we close Hall B. Uh, in Hall B, the last two days, we've had our good friends at Atmo Esports We're running their fight and flight competition. So I would like to invite two of the members of Atmo Esports, their founders, their creators, the, no, the big no, we want cheeses game, at the top. We want uh, game stuff. Uh, Crucian and Corsair, come on up, man. Your name is Corsair, really? Wow. Tell me you're lame without saying you're lame. You got 90 seconds to tell people about who you are, what you're about, and how the event went. Uh, I'm Corsair, and this is Crucian, of and we're from Atmo is. Esports. And uh, we've just run Fight or Flight, the first live tournament are these experience the, here. Are these the at, racing uh, guys? Citizen Con no, this is the Fight or Flight guys. Uh, we'd love to thank the staff and competitors. Uh, are we in the competitor? What are you doing? You want, yeah. Is that what that big group is? Yeah, yeah these the guys. Yeah, just get them up. <laughs> yeah, come on up, guys. Come on, Come on up. up. Oh, you're delaying well, the show. Well, I just want to give a big thank you to the competitors he's, who made this happen. I guess he's giving Chris happen. time to we figure out what we're doing. We have Lizzie B, Avenger One, Verity, Cobra, Herbadiza. We got Sin, Astro Pub, GI Jew. We have Comet 15, Bog Nagus, Ms. Gabs, Schwang, Zero State, New Damn. Cabbage, Detox, and the Floor Mad. These guys have gone through adversity throughout this tournament. They've done a fantastic job. So I just want to say thank you to the community who keeps supporting what we're doing. We'll love to be back in the future. And you, this community, is the best community in the world. Thank you. Take a bow, players. I want to know who won. I don't think A1 did. And of course, if you were here watching this, you can check out the stream, the Hulk event, up on their Twitch channel, I presume. Yep. I should have checked beforehand. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Watch your step on the way down. All right. I got one more housekeeping thing. There's a person not many of you know. He's an associate producer in our L.A. studio. And when the workload for this event became as heavy and as detailed as it was, uh, we turned to him to help with our broadcast this, uh, this weekend. And he rose up and he excelled like a champion. So I would like to formally introduce you to Dan Halbrick, who's been co-hosting the event. Dan, get on this up here, man. man. What's he saying? What? What? A, what? I'm just happy to be here. Heart emoji. Okay. Keep walking. Yeah. Now. We've got one more presentation. Uh, that's Destination Adventure. Uh, we're gonna, you're going to see more about uh, things underground, things uh, up in space, and things. Did they say he, they, they have one more presentation? Uh, mm-hmm. And then, of course, we'll let Chris Roberts come, re- come to stage, return to stage, and close out the event proper. So this is a sign-off for me. Thank you so much for being here at CitizenCon. And on behalf of Tyler and Leah, if I may, thank you for making this event possible. Yeah. That's Squadron 42 and release. You're gonna love what you're about Squadron to see, 42 everybody. is going to come with. It's going to come with uh, Chris Roberts. I'm pretty sure. Probably. He's not going to let anyone else say anything about Squadron 42. Yeah. No. No. True. He's got too That's much. not going to happen. He wants to flex hard. Oh Hello. yeah. He's probably got an erection Hello, right now. Hello, welcome to Destination Adventure. My name is John Griffiths. I'm the lead environment artist for EU. At Mo Bandy from the Twitch chat. I'm the product <laughs> owner for the distribution centers. Before what happened? We into, oh, oh, Bench at Admo Esports banned him um, from their t- we Twitch into, chat. Everything that you're going to see Why? is currently in gray. I don't box, know. So just keep that in mind. So, these distribution centers, what are they? Well, first off, they're the biggest location we have on the ground outside of landing zones. 
The reason why big. they're so Very big, big is intentional. Mm -hmm. We wanted them to it's accommodate so as much world and mission-based gameplay as hmm? possible. Like the space, it's big. Each location <laughs> supports multiple landing pads and hangars, making them accessible to as many players as possible at any one time. There's even That's a right, Adam. They did make the Squadron 42 announcement before Squ Squirrel got from here. From the planet's surface, yeah, into the main building, and to any berth ships. But can we drive so on those roads? Every distribution center will be owned by he a said, faction. All I said was the guy Depending uses too many words to say too where little. where the distribution center is located on the planet will determine its... No, you'll have to wait for a bus. Now, each specialism... You'll have to be at a bus stop waiting for a bus to show up to drive you somewhere. Opportunities. I can't wait to bomb one. So let's talk about some factions for right? a moment. It's probably going to be so, our nurses zone. An example probably. of a major faction would be the UEE. Now, at their distribution centers... They're likely to be more specialized towards military supply, research and development, or communications. You know, Meaning I want to break into one now. Of the UE it mm -hmm. is. They will have a much stronger military presence in the area. And missions here may be it's more like hostile in the A2. with com combat-oriented team-based raid yeah. opportunities. Other examples of hostile gameplay that we're thinking of is hacking and stealing, searching for and destroying a specific item, tracking and eliminating any VIPs, and you know, everyone's favorite, eliminate all. Grey Cat Industrial would be an example of a minor faction. So their distribution centers will be more specialized. Are these the same as those UGF 2.0s that they were talking about? Assembly, yeah, shipping. not sure. It is. It, it is. is. It looks like it. Here. I'd like to do corporate sabotage where you have to go in and blow up storage silos to drive prices up on stuff. Oh, yeah. Gameplay loops, though we won't be ruling out I'd, I'd help Pagan out. I'd be like, like what are you guys mining gosh. tonight? Right. right, like I'm about, to go sell, I'm about to go sell uh, some gold, so yeah, I'm going to blow up storage here. Uh, cargo and then my homie's going to pull like in said, and sell all this shit. Mining, Hell yeah. Maintenance of the location. You know, that's actually kind of what my long-term org plans are. That's enough are. of me talking about Corporate. it. That would be fantastic. How about fantastic. we show you where we're Yeah, dude, what do you think we <laughs> stocked up on the, uh, on the ships like the Polaris and... I don't see any turrets. No, good call. I don't see him either. It's probably just a. a yeah, he says this is all in uh, gray box, so they're still working on this. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. I see. I, I just looked over and saw it. Yeah, everything that we're about to see about all this stuff is gray box, so. Or white box. Yeah. Never it in the blue box. <laughs> or even a red box. Or the finished box. Just never put the stick in the box. It's a trap. <laughs> Are we gonna trust AI to drive carts around? Hmm. First time that server starts glitching out, it's gonna be bad. The more I look at these, the more the more I think if you do try to assault one of these places, you're going to need a lot of buddies to come and, like, drop off ammo, mm -hmm. drag people out, get new people in. Yup. I think the game plan would be like a, a Trojan horse. You come in and act friendly. Oh, and then go yeah. hostile ones once you're in? Yeah, yeah go once you're in position. Yeah. And then once those guys are inside, then you bring the bombs in. Yeah, get everyone a deep in position, and the ship comes in, blows everything up. And then push, push we deep got into a, the facility and get... Wheels aren't moving. Out. Wheels are moving on the uh, Ursa. <laughs> That's been your thing since you've seen it on me. Yeah. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. True. No, the Matrix still has me because I haven't so seen to it talk yet. You through the corporate spaces of these locations, please welcome Rainer Rick to the stage. Hello, hello. So my name is Rainer Rick. I'm a lead environment uh, artist at the Montreal Studio. 
And we've been working with John's team on the distribution centers. When they say Montreal Studio, do they mean so Turbulent? So John just showed how yes. massive these locations are. He also presented the industrial sections on the ground level. And I'm here to present the administrative area of these facilities that the Montreal team has been working on. Mm. So they're located above ground, just below the tower highlighted in the picture. Inside, you'll be able to explore the corporate Let's office go turbulent. and interact with the administrative personnel. Is it wrong of me to say that more has been done since these guys have the gotten on board than CIG has really done in like four, four years? In no, addition, not be wrong. We've had also yeah. It's not wrong to say. It's the truth. Lobby, specifically designed for smaller ships and ideal for short stays like... It's pretty bad when you got to buy a game development missions. studio in order to make progress. For and real. And ignore the fantastic gamers, views we have gamers from these at, platforms. Gamers would be very Reminder upset by that comment. Reminder of the vastness of these facilities. Oh, I'm sure a lot of... Now, a lot of people let's step be. inside the lobby. If I was CIG, I would buy a, which is a bunch a of, uh, of the administrative small area, developers that are working on space games, various locations of the corporate can space. their projects and bring them into Star Citizen. Within this space, you'll find the reception desk. And as a newcomer, you'll be expected to report here first. So here you can hand over your deliveries or pick up packages and earn reputation points with that faction. Nobody's going to be leaving that sandworm so, alone. Chad again is asking about where's, where's the si sandworms. <laughs> well, if if Christ Robert doesn't come out on stage sand, riding the sandworm, I'm going to be pissed. Out, depending on the I mean, Dune 2 is supposed to be coming out and here's an example this summer, of I think. And there's sandworms in that. <laughs> some shiny armor. And back on the topic of reputation, as it grows, you can expect to gain access to the executive office spaces. From here, you'll meet with unique quest givers, and depending on your reputation level, you'll receive. They keep talking about these quest givers, types, but either friendly or hostile. Like there's there's none in Stanton and right finally, now, and I'm not saying I, you can compare uh, the, the two, but give us some of the unique location. mission givers in Stanton. We built this with show us that it works. And yeah, something like uh, that was the guy down in uh, Lowerville in the bar. Additional office space. And then uh, Twitch. So. And then there's uh, there was a lady uh, over in our court. Just before I show the Twitch. our progress so far, I want oh, yeah, to give a big yeah, thank yeah. you to the Montreal team for their work on the administration off area. <laughs> thank you. And as John mentioned, we're still in gray box phase, so just to keep that in mind. Shout out to the real studio. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, like I said, these guys have done so much. This song yeah. again. First light, buddy. Guys. New drinking game. How many times does it play? I've already right. done that. You have to rewind and start with yesterday's, though, buddy. To be fair about it. Mm, We're sure, all going to sure. be dead from alcohol poisoning by the end of day one. There's that new cloth physics. Bro, did you see that NPC up on the railing warp no. around? And then no, teleport away. <laughs> he was warping no, and then teleported away. <laughs> well, you know this is in game. Right? Look at look at the way these uh, walking down the stairs. <laughs> His hair's not moving either. Where's my hair physics? The way he moves down the stairs. I know is his great. ass is sore from last night. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta ask you a... Excuse me, where's the preparation H? <laughs> right? Your average star citizen player right there. Real uptight. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Standing outside watching it rain. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> While I wait for my ship. There's the non <laughs> the non functional <laughs> pips and big Benny's machines. Right. Why weren't those made functional when food came in? I, that's a good question. You know, it's like, okay, we have a buy animation for hot dogs. Why can't we just walk up there and go click buy and it shits out right. a, a bowl of Big Binnies? And then a soda pops out of it. Yeah. I can't physicalize it. It's like a bomb drop. Th that'll be the next Marcus, big announcement. Marcus had the greatest idea. Thing. Boom. Right. He uh, he had the idea to get make the arcades work and have actual fun games, you know. And then I think that's the plan. Actually, have the ability to put them in ships. I think that Thank was the plan. Much. Someone mentioned that and before. Me no, 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 but I was saying they should get a they should get a contract with like Galaga and Syndicate. Yeah. 
I play those. I, that was a very, I very short one. Games. That was a quick one. Seems and no, you won't have the ability to put them in ships. Okay, Can Apple figure so, out a way to steal them and put them in ships? Something we've been working oh, yeah. that's unique to this location is raids. We'll find a way to unroute the object. Did you say raids? Raids. So raids are oh, team-based missions with a focus on high risk, Let's get raided. high reward operations. As Carl mentioned previously, you'll be able to choose how you gain entry to these locations. Coming prepared and geared the up will fun. make the difference between success and Oh yeah, and bomb failure. it, drop guys in. Ultimately, you'll need to work together in order to succeed. So these raids oh work, God, will have you breaching good. the interior of the main structure, highlighted here. Now, each interior will comprise of rooms that reflect the location's specialism. For example, a shipping, focus, distribution center will have rooms dedicated to the storage of cargo. Looking to the future, we're playing. It just on better be a high level of violence if I do one of these. That yeah. Access from this interior space. Yeah, I would think so. These will expand. I'd like to go in there. Have the to go storm the security raids. control room. Well, let's take a look at one of these raid missions in action. I'm telling you, the A2 is going to be the the A2 is going to be the the best shit, man. Play uh, prototype of a raid. Start our message zone. At least not for the demo. Nope. Oh yeah. Boom, 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 bomb. Nothing makes a hot landing better than an A2 bomb drop first. Right. Clear the pad. Yeah. Landing pad and half the inside of the building's clear. Let's land. I think that's the, smart. Uh, they tracked her being a piece of cargo in front of them back to the bullet shield. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. That was smart thing. Yeah, that was really fucking smart. Now you can see everybody doing that now. Hey, look, the, the cart works. I want one of those. The hell I've been wanting those forever. That had to be very valuable cargo. I mean, to even be right. worth it. Pyrite or Quantanium. Close the gate, you dumb fuck. Dramatic effect. Be a barn in a barn? There you go. And that was cool, but yeah, I think there needs to be more to it than just that. Agreed. So, as you saw in the I mean, video, they did say there's the going to be different mission more types. Aggressive approach to yeah. getting inside and taking what they wanted, but this isn't the only approach you can use. You know, multiple points of egress allow you it to cause chaos. You land down, take, take over the military side, steal their vehicles, and drive it over to the economy side. Now, reputation will also tie into these raids. Missions will have varying objectives depending on the player's reputation level. And dynamic events may also be triggered during the raid, so players will need to adapt to an evolving situation. This could range from dealing with additional security personnel to other players arriving to defend the, the location against you. Something else we've been prototyping is how we can utilize the multi-tool to create... Well, 90% of SC just went out the door on that one. Physically interacting with the environment right. around you changes the puzzles for everybody. With multiple add-ons for the tool available, I mean, it, it'd be cool if more people participated in PvP, but a lot of the times you see the same names a lot. In this next video, we show you how using the track to be an attachment can open up new pasture. Yeah, you'll, you'll only be able to activate to this, to grab a sniper, and hide out in the corner so many available. times before everyone That's knows that what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yep. What are they stealing? I He's using the boxes. Stealing steal. the boxes uh, to climb. Yeah. I thought this stealth. was a sorting simulator. I thought he was an employee here. Yeah, yeah this is like the stealth way in. Oh, well, that's cool. So just like drop a, uh, a box on one of the guys. Mm hmm. Oops. So, Industrial yes, accident. Thank you. Now, obviously. Ooh, that. 
it was oh, um, asparagus you know, is this bomb. location would be possible with several people at CIG. So oh, I will in a minute. Uh, thanks you go to Manuel, asparagus. John, Jack, Martin. Oh my for God, she grilled Luke, asparagus. Chris, Mustafa, Sam, you didn't Tom, it? and Rob, you've been excellent. Thank you to Rainer and his Good. team in Montreal. You know, none of this would be possible without their efforts. And yeah, thanks to everybody and here and online uh, watching. Really appreciate features. your support. On to the it's next time. one. Is it time for the man, the myth? Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? I don't know. Christ Lord himself. I feel like they kind of cut the other stuff Not short yet. to get him on stage. Uh, who's Hello. this guy? I have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> this is a good segue from the uh, distribution what centers. Is, like as I'll be talking is it two to panels instead of one? Aspects of cargo and freight on behalf of Art and Design. Really? The end of the second fucking day you mentioned cargo? My name is Nick Etheridge and I'm an assistant environment art director. So obviously cargo isn't just about boxes. It's a big part of the game. Almost every aspect of the game has some kind of involvement with cargo. And I'm going to briefly go through some of them now. It's about taking so boxes from Let's other start with people, missions. Actually. How will hauling much. contracts work in game? We'll be introducing the Interstellar Transport Guild. As well as form Can you move your mic? As well as formalizing right. some of the main hauling and cargo companies that you'll be working with. As you do more hauling contracts, you will build up your reputation <laughs> and novel, the relationship the economy? with the guild. This will lead you to gaining more lucrative contracts for specialized cargo and destinations such as different forms of okay. hazardous cargo, perishable cargo, riskier routes, and, and more. So what do I mean by hazardous and perishable? Well, as you know, there's lots of commodities in the game, and different commodities have different properties. As you know, with events like Xenothreat, we have some special cargo types. Are they going to make quantanium unstable or something? But I thought it was fine cargo, when it was refined. Quantum sensitive cargo. Probably. Yeah. Those were a small selection for the event, and they were the two handed carryable might types. Have you moved anyway. like one refinery we'll be to expanding another. those types, the ore. plus lots more types, to the wider game and to these hauling contracts. Ooh, weapons and armor. So, how does cool. this affect gameplay? Mm -hmm. It will affect the choices you make when you are handling, storing, and traveling with the cargo. For example, with size and weight, is it carryable? Do you need a tractor beam? What type of tractor beam do you need? Is it a handheld one or a ship tractor beam? Some containers can only be moved with ship tractor beams, for example. With health, has the container got good integrity? Is it holding fragile goods? Do you need to handle it with care? You can't just throw all containers about. For temperature control, do you need to ensure the container is powered so it can keep the contents cool? Or do you need to get to your destination quickly, um, otherwise the contents oh may perish? Can I put it on its side, For security, down a hill and roll can the container over? be locked or hacked? <laughs> that would be awesome. Can the contents Turn be scanned? Zombie, be like, Look, you get to live if tracked. you can outrun the container. <laughs> Will there be pirates or law <laughs> after you when you're holding this container? Has a containment? Is it radioactive? You might need the right uh, protection against it, as you may have seen in Jens's presentation earlier. Can it explode? You might not want to put these containers on a more exposed section of your ship. And many of these attributes are, are going to be visually distinctive. So conversely, if you want to steal, so for example, some cargo containers on a hot sea, over a city. which does have very <laughs> Unload them. exposed yes, some explosive cargo. containers, yes. you might want to some avoid shooting blindly and accidentally blowing up yeah. your potential profits. So look out for those types of containers. Chemical warfare, baby. Back it's to mission games, progression. So you come out of the we'll be introducing perks center and, and rewards radiation poison as part of right. fulfilling contracts and raising reputation with these companies. For rewards, we'll have branded ship and tool skins, branded clothing. There will be collectibles to decorate your find hab, that guy I bombed when he was ship, naked. Or you made a big deal about it in chat. You bombed and me and I was naked. Exclu exclusive rewards. <coughs> oh, oh, yeah. some radiation at him. Yeah. For like, like, like a suit was going <laughs> to save you. him on the size 10 bomb. <laughs> that guy was so angry. For perks, you'll get access to more items in shops and discounts on specific items. 
And all of these rewards and perks you need to earn in the game. You cannot just buy them. That dude must like own a full set that's of like cool. night armor in his house. In case the bomb drops, he'll jump in it real quick so you think that's gonna protect him. Next, let's have a look at freight elevators and hangers. This I knew is you'd what be excited for this. Right here. Mm -hmm. I'd like to show you a short video to demonstrate how freight elevators will change how you view your hangers and how you use your hangers. I do so like the earnable game things. That has, yeah, any game that has perks and skills and special items, you know, always has so many fun exploits. Apparently a different song. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, shoot me now. Does this come with hireable NPCs? we doing this for an hour before you take off. Bro, your friends must really love you. <laughs> right? Wow. I really, do you really gonna have to do this all day? Nobody's gonna wanna trade anymore. Time lamps, 13 hours. <laughs> right? Bro, after I get done with this, I'm gonna wanna log off. Like, for real. I'm be like, all right, I'm done playing, guys. It's been real, but I do not want to fly to the other place and do the same thing in reverse. Yeah, everybody's clapping, but nobody actually what? wants to do this. They're all like, yeah, this is going to be great. They're going to do why it again. Have, uh, never do it why again. Why couldn't you have used this to load your ship? Right. I can't wait to have this. No. Oh, I can't wait to have a platform full of NPCs. Now this is cool. Yeah. Taking them in the bunk. And the crowd goes wild. Right. Nobody gave a shit about moving boxes. None of them want to do it. Right. Now, this is a badass beer. Get your vehicles out of the station. Yeah. Now, is this also coming with our own uh, our own hangers? Because, yes. you know, some people were able to buy your, your, were able to buy your own hanger. I have three hangers. Yeah, so... You know, here's the other thing that concerns me. Am I going to have to do this with everything I want to bring with me? I'm going to have to call it up on an elevator and sort through it? Yes. Fuck, man. Really? So now i got to shit, shower, shave, move my cargo, and call all my shit, all my guns, ammo, and my vehicles up on an elevator before Thank I can you. even leave the station. It's going to take so like two hours to leave. As you can see, hangers, yeah, well, they will that, become whole persistent plan is, and personal, to have to, meaning like, you can stay there as long as you want. Everything Whatever like, you leave there will places. persist and will so, be yours to use. Like how they're showing the your hanger elevator comes up and you load you leave the cargo from onto ship. the ship. It their plan is also key you base go of to the station and do the same thing to handle reverse. your inventory and storage needs. You call the elevator and pull and all your cargo onto that. And you'll be able to request your Nobody's going to run cargo ever again. Piracy will die because of this. But... You're supposed to get ships that have tractor beams so you can, like, land and... But the elevators are on the sky, though. Inventories won't be magic. Yeah, it's not like the, it's like the, this means the, the, the hangar or the cargo elevator one of the main is in line with the ship doors. It's off to the side. Inventory. Well, when have they ever tested at the location the can be requested via yeah, they're gonna the elevator kiosks. They're going to throw it together and be like, oh, shit, we'll fix this later. And will be up in a physicalized state to do with the reclaimer. Probably. This would be done through a I really, I really, like I said, cargo cargo guys will do this one time and then they'll items. never it won't they'll be never using do it again. The personal inventory yeah. system. I, I I think they'll work on quality of life things to make it better. The change is obviously a really big like quality of life improvement to retrieving ground vehicles. Like the novelty at no the longer do really you have fun. to travel thousands the whole of elevator millions thing with of the kilometers to specific places in the verse to get your vehicle. You'll get them straight from your hangar. The best part is the getting the vehicles off your hangar. That's the best yeah. part. Mm -hmm. You'll also be able to bring up ship components. So your hangar 
is now more of a maintenance bay. I can't wait to pull up to a station and all the hangar bays are open. And, and there's like, like, like 20 fucking Nova Tank shooting at so me. So in short, right. persistent yeah. player hangars I just can't wait. in combination with freight <laughs> elevators will dramatically change what you can do. Well, in and that's another thing. Everywhere. Everywhere. Home to do that's the other want, thing too. I don't know if I want to sit there and have to remove all my guns and all my components. Thank you very much for listening. And call, put them on an elevator and then call the elevator with all my new stuff and put a walk and around putting it in my ship. I'd Todd rather Pappy. just go to Vehicle Loadout Manager and click a few buttons and be done with it. Sitcon. Yeah, I like the system they have now. I like that. Come on, I can't hear you. I want to take it off of somebody's ship, that's fine. All right, there we go. Or even have a, an automated so, system where you go into Loadout Manager, you set it. We'll be talking today about something it special. The hangar, uh, like an it's, a, crane system, it's an update your um, off and on something on. that we talked about a little while ago, but we feel it's oh, the future go, of Star Citizen, and it's an actual the culmination of multiple different game systems coming together. So why don't you play the video? Oh, oh, are we getting it? In a world, in a deep forest. In a school of fish. <laughs> that was a phone ringing, that's what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Please call me right now. Land claim site. Wow, okay. Is that gonna be is that the big announcement? Yeah. Looks like base it. Building. Yeah, base building. I can't wait to Looks bomb like it's all prefab. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take a prefab for now. Over nothing. Bombing runs. Yep. Friendly A A two coming in. Friendly A one inbound. Imagine working on your base and the BBC just runs up and fingers you. Right. <laughs> BBC Ooh. fingers. You can make a mining outpost. Win though, because we know this has been coming. I put in Jack, friendly A2 inbound. <laughs> Yeah, see the chat win. What's this one? Are we have to chop down trees. Right. Is that a port, like a docking port? It looks like a uh, a greenhouse. Yeah, it looks like a greenhouse. Yeah. Are we growing space wheat? Yep. You That's the outpost I want. Widow I want that tree pollen, you know? I can give you my microphone, like, Greg. Can you give your microphone? If I don't see a sandworm pop up and eat this fucking settlement, I'm gonna be mad. A1s and A2s are gonna have a field day with these things. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So base building. All right. I didn't it breaks see down a into two really large gameplay defense. sections. Planning ahead. Build your home in the verse. Um, and then you've got on the, the on site where you're actually gonna build. Nine, nine. All right. Nine. So with that, nine, you need nine, to figure nine. out what your goal is. <laughs> is it to have a home with a nice view sucks. and relax? Is it to have a trading post? Actually, where you the want pioneer to was like sell items. Wasn't eight hundred bucks years ago? Resources available and yeah. move on to the next area. Handle one land claim be grid and be completely self-sufficient. <clears throat> so, with that, with your prep and everything like that, we've got blueprints. So the the recipes, yep. <laughs> everything in the game is fabricated from a blueprint. 
Players acquire blueprints via reputation rewards, um, missions, or rare NPCs. With any blueprint, you can actually do research on it and then create different variations. With materials, ranging from the common to ultra rare, you might find them at the local shop or have to travel around the universe to collect them. Unrefined, refined, simple materials, or even complex components will all go into the fabrication. With this, then you got location, location, location. First area is high security. So you must purchase the land. The base is actually invulnerable because of the planetary shield tech. A security will show up to protect it as well. Oh. You pay for the Wait, privilege, what? you're taxed. Yep. So at this point, um, you won't have the best resources available. You won't have access to the best resources available on the planet. If you don't pay your taxes, I'm sorry, but this just went from cool to really stupid fast. Well, I'm sure there'll be more than one location type. Yeah, this I is think high security. I but think this is like a franchise-style location. location. Yeah, yeah, this is like then prime real estate. Here we go. Here you go. So again, yeah. you must purchase the land. It's owned by an independent corp, gang, or faction. Again, you don't have access to all the best they mentioned resources this on the planet. The base is vulnerable. Mm -hmm. AI NPCs will show up and protect the base if it's attacked. The protection will this escalate the, the part um, of the game over time. That makes me the yeah, players can also build walk. defenses to help mitigate this Outside. as well. And then it's medium reward medium risk. Then you've got lawless. So this is no protection other than what you build. There's shields, So you build your base, go to a space. Players can disable the shields by getting close to them. you steal the immortal and guards and bring them. them back to your location. High risk, got it. high reward. Right. Since there's no taxes, no protection cool. fees, you get a high return on yeah, the resources right. that you collect. That. Now there's some cross shard and server meshing considerations that will will kind of adjust this. Design Pagan, it was like future, what four years ago, five years ago, they sold land claims. We, once we're mm -hmm. really building it, yeah. So from here, so. you've got the tools. So this is what we would consider a surveyor. Um, with this, Those we people, want to actually uh, can probably feel cater better to everybody's now. place there, whether you're solo about it. or in an org. With this, oh, you've got different future, buildings that you can produce when. from small, yeah. medium to large to extra L or XL. So that with the surveyor really tool, the you can only right. build a small uh, building. With a vehicle, <laughs> you can build small and medium-sized buildings. So basically, with if you galaxy, bought land, you're going to be you in the, you're going to be automatically to in the high security and never be able to be attacked. And then obviously, with the pioneer, yeah, right. so you can be attacked, but security will show up. Well, here it is, pioneer. Pioneer can do it all. Well, and they it said still the works planetary as a shields protect them. And we'll so uh, talk about them. some of the more expanded features that we're adding to it in and later on. So, um, and then it's also, we're exploring what can be done in space, not just on the planet. So from here, you set off on your journey. So with the land claim, you put your tool down where you want, you launch the drone that is built into the machine, and then from there, this allows the Wait, player to access the base to building and also land claim mode. With the land claim modes, the player can actually change the size and position of what, what area they want to claim, and it also shows you the cost and taxes associated with it. If it's in the guys in my chat zone, are saying they just raised the cost the land, of the galaxy. This interface will default to right. So if you own the land or it's in the lawless area, it will automatically go to the base building mode. So with the overhead view of the land, you can actually place down buildings exactly where you want. You can see the resources beneath the surface. And then you can also place multiple buildings before you so actually build. Like so you can see how it will all kind of come together. You'll see the resources that are needed for it. And then you can also switch back and forth between different modes, which are showing off the resource network and, and how you link basically power generators to consumers. And then the player can move or deconstruct existing buildings right now with no charge. Fabrication. So when you, when you basically build these buildings, they don't come with any furnishings. And if you, if you didn't bring any okay. with you, then you want to build a fabricator. So depending on uh, what you want to build, there's different sizes of them that support buildings from decorations, armor, weapons, components, and even ships. <clears throat> So like base building mode, you need blueprints, okay. resources okay. to craft what you want. Everything fabricated is produced from a, it produces a physicalized <laughs> entity. Stats and quality will depend on the quality of the materials actually used. 
What is Once this going to do to servers? you built your decorations, right. now you can actually fill the room the way that you want to fill it. So furnishings can be purchased at different locations, or they can actually be fabricated. You can do that via first person or in a dedicated mode in the surveyor's tool. With that, you've got different types of buildings. So you've got utility style, which would be garages, freight elevators, landing I pads, storefronts. I think it might not be too bad. And then you've got extractors. Because they're all these like so with prefab with buildings, extractors, so they'll probably we all want be to make sure that Nothing so as as you in leave regards room, to resource gathering is fully automated. A little player, stream it out with no one's around it, too. Player engagement is yeah. always needed. Yeah, socks so kicks as in. as Nick talked out. about before, there are different types of commodities, radioactive, perishable, etc. <clears throat> What you'll be doing is pulling out full containers, then from there it'll be repairing, or there's wear and tear associated with it, or even misfires like you saw in Thorsten's talk and Guillermo's talk yesterday. There's also upgrade paths for making them more efficient or resilient. Power generators. So with different types of power generators, there, there'll be some that are more cost effective as well as effective in different areas. Solar panels will not always work in darkness. Fuel generators will need to be filled up every now and then and then batteries to store excess power. Then you've got producers, so things that will require the players to combine different resources to produce new items. And then you've got the facilities. fence, so anti-air, yeah. anti-personnel, and then shield generators. I think you probably can and in the, the low one. security and no, and no uh, security. We start development, Ooh. Q1. You see the graphic for the, so, yeah, for the attacking. They start working on That's it me? in January. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you for coming. So it's two years. Yeah, we'll two see. years or more. All right. Well, uh, look how long Pyro. Guys, here we go. The original griefer, first of his name. Yeah. Christ. Hail Christ Roberts. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hey everybody. All you mortals <laughs> bow. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed everything you've seen in these last two days. Um, we were really excited to show you a lot of it. And I, I've sort of seen some online comments about, okay, well, that's very cool, but when are we going to get it in the game? Um, but one of the real reasons why we wanted to show you this all, this is Citizen Night Rider CIG. We've right. hit confirmed point on a lot of the features, as in they're either finished or they're in polishing stage, which is why we're showing them. So everything that we've been showing you here at CitizenCon is our intention. Not intention. Making 100% promise, just so right. everyone remembers intention. that. Intention. To get them into Star Citizen. He's wearing a squadron shirt. Mm -hmm. Through next year. So we're not. It's not going to be gated on having to be after Squadron 42. <laughs> So we are. There's a clue there. So, so we're planning over the next, uh, you know. That is a pretty Q1, good announcement. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 of next year. But is it true? Hopefully, everything that we've shown you, you will have in your hands playing. Remember, inside a letter from the chairman system. made a lot of promises so. and intentions. He always does. Uh, and it's so, very gratifying for not the team up next year. and myself to finally be able to show you a lot of this. One of the advantages of being able to go and iterate on these features right. in Squadron was that we were able to do it without having to work through the stuff release of every the three months and make sure the old system worked while the new system was year. working so we could actually really polish the features, which I hope you could see when we showed you the updated you know, UI stuff, the updated FPS stuff, the updated flight stuff. Uh, the character stuff, which is uh, something we're very proud of, because you know this is, after all, an MMO. You want to make have as much freedom to create the character you want to create. So, okay, there's as a, you may have guessed, Twitch chat, there's a 94% chance that this won't make it into the game now that Chris has earlier. announced it. Uh, <laughs> we are feature complete on Squadron 42. I call BS. Look, everybody's so happy only five I, people stood up. I Those are not, the five people that I bought not, the game. You're, you're, you will not right. get a release date from me today because, first of all, you always get very angry at me when I give dates. Yep. <laughs> yep, told you. It's over so, a year out. So, um, 
it, it will be announced. when I know that we're fully about ready to print the Gold Masters, but it won't be just yet. But we prepared, the, the Squadron 42 team prepared a, a small video for you. I may be lying, it's a bit bigger than small. Uh, to, give you a, to give you a glimpse of everything we've been working on and what the gameplay looks and feels like. So let's roll that. Yeah, yeah, another vertical slice. Now, is this going to be cinematics or is this going to be in-game stuff? He didn't say. He just said they prepared a video. He said a video, so I'm thinking cinematic. He didn't specify. Nothing's come up and said in-engine or in-game. Let's see if we see any NPCs, like, moving around. We can kind of tell by their movement. Scanning that. This is definitely a cinematic. Commercial vessel yeah. Omega 3. Provided that the civilian traffic is restricted under lockdown. Copy that. Looks beautiful. I, I really do yeah. like the clouds. Arch it's a cloud tech demo. Arch is it yeah. the one that goes? Come back, Gary. Redirect to sector 7 Bravo Echo for immediate tasking. Copy that. On our way. It's all pre-rendered, though. Yeah. I was hoping for in-game stuff. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll get some. He said it's kind of a bigger video. I mean, I like the the shot here, getting the the scale of this. Yeah. You know, this javelin, like, woo. I know I just wrote you, but a couple of hours ago, proximity sensors on the, on the other, other side, side of the jump got twigged. Where it is it might be that clan we've been battling with. I guess that last fight didn't scare them off quite like we all hoped it would. Honestly, we've been out here so long, I don't know what to pull for anymore. I just, I just wanted to let you know. Right as soon as I can. Stay safe. I don't like the wipe. They should just. Your loving son. It's the transition. Kept it one character. Yeah. Just cut to the next character instantly. Yeah, more of a fade and less of a wipe. Yeah. Yeah, but a, I get what you. But a wipe is much more dramatic. Yeah. I get it. Your character customization. Yep. You can be whoever you want. There's just Jillian. See the shadows. Scully. <laughs> I miss Never gets old, does it? Sir. It is. Sir? I used to do the same thing when I was first coming up. These are new lines, because she, her voice is more raspy now. Whenever I could to watch the launches. Yeah. They did say they were bringing them all in or, uh, late yeah. past year and early this year. Have you yeah. seen the F-8 so late, close? Yeah, late past year and no, early sir. this year. The thing's a beast. Nimble, too. 12 maneuvering thrusters and three mains, yeah. it sure yes, sounds like have. it. Sir. It is. It is a beast. Beast. Beast mode. To the bridge. Captain McLaren to the bridge. <laughs> Someone in the Twitch chat. It's ma'am. I saw it's you ma to the plane again. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Keep your head up. It took me a couple times before I got in. Thank you, sir. It's ma'am. <laughs> yes, sir, ma'am, sir. You never know. 
know. It's it's the future. Like maybe he's not with that. It she really was a man at once, and he knows that. It, it's maybe. all the Adam. And think about that. You know, like he had gender changing surgery, and he knows. <laughs> Welcome to Cloud Imperium Games Manchester Studio. I'm Chris Roberts, and I'm pleased to announce we have just passed a major milestone. Squadron 42 is now feature complete and has entered its polish phase. To celebrate this milestone, we've gathered some of our core leadership together to share what this means. Chris, open both your eyes As and talk Chris to says, me. As Chris says, we've moved into the polish phase of Don't look at me in their tone of voice. Which means extra <laughs> emphasis on ensuring things feel fun. This means focusing on the small and large elements of the game, such as dialing in combat encounters, but also looking at the feel of how you control your character or vehicle and making no sure it's as immersive fine. as possible. We've paid extra attention to how your character reacts when in their ship so that you feel like an actual pilot, whether that's firing your weapons, taking hits, or punching the afterburners to get to cover. Ship AI has also seen huge improvements with closer engagement distances and more varied behaviors. And with our new precision targeting mode, the action has never been as close. With the aim now on no. polish, we've organized Is the project no into self-sufficient strike teams, so we can focus on individual areas to deliver the best experience. Oh, there's your boat. There's your boat, buddy. Bitch, I'm on a boat. This allows Space us to bring well. all disciplines together with a unified vision of enhancing the gameplay by seamlessly oh blending it with polished visuals, final jank. cinematic performances, and our ever-improving technology. You didn't see the boat, kid. You're good to keep going. Smack right to the dam. <laughs> right. We're also dialing in gameplay features, such as the ship flight model for both atmosphere and space, which covers master modes, control surfaces, and our gold standard HUD and MFDs. Is this a Top Gun mission where you got to go and like... Our interaction the system <laughs> for both the world and your character you drop the have also and seen additional up a turn. allowing us to hone and craft environmental puzzles unique to each location, while allowing us to tell the story of the so world it's around you. Interesting. But why are we doing it? The military multi tool is an essential piece of equipment for every pilot that I integrates I'm all stable. attachments into a single handheld device and allows us to create gonna be doing really much interesting in challenges. It's going to be pretty much physics based puzzles pure combat, using our I updated think. rope. I think it's largely on. I think you're corralled when you have to make choices of how how you're gonna do certain things. Stealth, guns blazing, or Titans. This yeah. is the UEE Navy. Power down your ship and stand your story. by for processing. Yeah, you can f off the coil's ass. God damn it. Our scanning, targeting, and marker system has also seen an overhaul, allowing us to highlight only the essential information that you need such as key objectives, mission targets, and high level I would be very appreciative if they put this in the game. View as clean I don't like as that possible. zoom though. That zoom that really, skank. I don't like it. I think you could turn it off. I think it's targeting zoom. I think you can turn it off. Yeah. I hope so. I don't think you have to use it. Bye. Tactical FPS combat and stealth, which has seen a suite of improvements from improved this, looting, really like. weapon feel and balance, yeah. realistic scopes, and smoother locomotion, alongside our new and improved FPS radar and scanner that provides you an overview of the battlefield, but at the cost of ramping up your own emissions. Oh, destructible terrain. We've also seen the introduction of our yeah, Mailship that's cool. destructible environment, which adds a layer of dynamism to That'd the make experience, and interesting. alongside our improved right. AI that can now have this hundreds of great. combinations of traits yeah, really that allow does. us to create unique and challenging combat encounters that really push your tactical awareness and skill. Medic. 
Man down, man down. He's not even reloading, he's just shooting. Yeah, I noticed that too. Dev privileges. <laughs> Slash give ammo. Oh, there's his first reload. First thing about the NPCs weren't reloading. They weren't either. They were just constantly shooting. Shoot the human. Kill all humans. Just stick up with the sniper rifle. I'm telling you. For real. I'm worried about the slide canceling being in the, the actual MMO, though. Right. We play and review the builds regularly and call our action points in each level from start to finish on where we need to Got improve welding? the gameplay. I think he was repairing it or cutting yeah. it. Yeah. Cutting it. Yeah. You should this have kept that hunk of metal there, buddy. Development. Really Might have been handy there. As the ultimate vision of the game is realized, allowing us to craft an experience that we can be really proud of. One specific area that I'm excited to dial in is the feeling of the player interacting with the world around them. Patching you in. As it's a core component of Squadron and really grounds the world that you inhabit. We've made sure that any interaction in the environment is physically represented by a character animation to keep you in the moment. I wonder if this is still going to be co-op with drop created. in and drop out. I don't know. I just feel like all this could have been made to this be is the final phase of game iteration before we yeah. fully transition yeah, well, to the and stability Citizen. on the road that was to release. the plan originally with the, kick, with the original Skull. kickstarter come back always trips me out to see terraforming setups like this web tried explaining how atmosphere processors work really shows how far we've come hell is she with the Mark transition Hamill. of squadron to polish phase we've had the opportunity to mm -hmm. find additional moments within the existing narrative to add subtle interactions where appropriate. It's been tremendously exciting to play through these areas and find places to augment the mood, support gameplay, and further embellish our story and characters. So yeah, man, I, I, I can't believe it. They said I've got to wait another two years before I can reapply. So, um, so that's why I figured I'd get a job trying, trying in security, because that's, um, you know, I can get some hours flying in the cockpit and whatnot. Can't hurt, right? Exactly. We've also been capturing pickups for our JT says he officially gives zero fucks well about Squadron 42. For various enemies that you all will encounter throughout the game on both foot wow. and in your cockpit. I've been given zero This consists of a range of responses 42. and reactions that you just care about the PU. Which has been the I just care because it means they're going to work on the PU. This yeah. means that you're going to have to tangle with some very smart yeah, and reactive he, bad Chris guys said, to complete your so. mission. Chris said, no, now Star Citizen development is no longer going to rely on Squadron 42. Mm-hmm. But it's uh, independent of SQ-42's release date. Yeah. So anything they're working on in Star Citizen doesn't have to worry about Squadron 42 fitting in there. At the heart of this immersive adventure, can we work find on this cutting edge cinematic storytelling thoughtfully but crafted to fully immerse you into your story. These next, over we the next fight year, today. Uh, developers. So 40 Star years Citizen. from so now, when you're surrounded by everything and everyone year, you hold dear, and you know, before we they get a squadron ask, 42 what did you day. do in the Battle of Vega? You can look them in the eye and say, I heard the line. Men and women of the Second Fleet, I am proud to stand with you today. So if this is feature complete, does that mean all hands are back on PU now? Nope. Get the teams that are going to be doing the polish and all that stuff. Making the frame rates better here, because like nice you see speech. when they're doing yeah, the actual gameplay some stuff, it's, it's yeah. word from the recon. There's There's a lot of that stuff. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. I really think it's more about Let's get into position. taking the taking the uh, construction crews out of the house and getting the guys in that put the drywall up and put the mud on it and then sand and get it ready for painting. Yeah, no new so features are getting added. Some yeah, stuff so might get cut. So we're looking at another year to 18 months before this actually hits the store shelves. Yeah. Uh, a minimum of a year. Throughout the polish phase, Chris, our team is taking every opportunity to push things to the next level.
tell me you're expecting Salo, my man. This is not good. The Cine team is focused on finalizing edit lock on all of our big action as well as all smaller character sequences. I could have pulled this off of the Galactopedia. Yeah, probably, but I think their solar mass calculations are wrong, though. Well, this is ridiculous. How so? We are now able to adjust our shot composition to final cameras thanks to recently crafted space vistas and level art being content complete now. It'd be nice to know how much it's of a shitstorm we're flying into. Yeah, it does More like look a really good. Blue, you ain't and they fly de the <laughs> shit out of Hamill. Mm -hmm. now, I hadn't seen another ship that wasn't trying to kill me in Do you decades. think he, he raised hell Let about that? Order, <laughs> Probably. John. So you can imagine my surprise. Detailed lighting like, passes you know, can be done on hero like sequences so we can them, show they, our they cast like and convey their emotions they can in the best light so possible. Times in a movie. And we're making sure our cinematics are triggering as fluid as we can craft them so they, they form a coherent all the way back to with the rest of the, of Jedi the player's age. narrative experience. <laughs> Mr. Wexler, this is Lieutenant Commander Colton. Oh, Commander, hey. Julian Wexler, I'm the field manager of this little operation. Welcome aboard the Archon. What brings the Navy to this little corner? See the guy universe? from. Uh, we got you flying with Luke Robocop. Colton. He's one of our best. As others Maybe. will share, this is the most rewarding right. chapter right. of development. Right. Right. I thought he was allows the us to truly experience guy. the visceral and oftentimes emotional moments yeah. that our narrative provides. That's for sure. He's Sir Davos. How did you handle it after Vega? Stop making her cry, you bastard! I'm not sure I handled anything. It helps to remember that stuff like this is supposed to hurt. I've never been good at dealing with problems I can't fix. Well, this is Take one a shower, that you don't have to do alone. Yeah. That's good to know. And brush your hair. You look like shit. For the animation teams, <laughs> yeah, polish just... phase means refining the social aspects of Squadron 42 that occur between the various missions and getting the behaviors implemented across all of its chapters. Here we're dialing in the hangar to make it as immersive and believable an experience as possible. Done. Okay, right. He's the trip on that on that house though. Went right through his leg. Didn't they show this like not too long ago? This little section here. Uh, I think I it think was an so. earlier render of it, because it does look very familiar. I haven't seen this before. For example, we're launching off a space carrier, but we still ground. They showed a scene where a Gladius was in there, and you get out of the cat, and the Gladius, and you walk around the Idris. But that was like 2014. And making sure that your next flight mission is a success. This means we're looking out for pops, hiccups, or awkward transitions, and ensuring that everything flows and looks like all the great mocap performances we've captured. Let's ready some extra ice packs out of storage. Whenever gunners are on full rotation, you can always count on at least one of them getting hurt. We also have you covered in everyday life. The medical staff work diligently for their patients, whether they're players or crew. This is implying multiplayer. Yeah, they, they said it was supposed we to be really dropping, drop to out in the original of Kickstarter. I don't crew. know. Like I said, I was, I was wondering part of if they the kept, were going to keep that. An enormous universe of people going about their everyday lives. Let's go ahead and clear for takeoff. Ground crew, prep bay for takeoff. Copy that. Hangar, ready for launch. Take over I don't believe it because he's not standing on his chair and putting his crotch in my face. <laughs> I don't believe it because there's not a building spawning inside my hangar. Right, right. Ready and hold on as you're launched off the deck of you the You don't carrier. blow because the hangars aren't truly open. Right. So, Boom! <laughs> hangar looks open but you still hit the door. Have a safe flight, Baron. Is that a jump gate? 
We want you to not only decide how you play the game, no, but to like feel as if the people you interact station. with are no, I'm in ahead of world him, with you. Oh. I would have never thought yeah, a shotgun like, could be so pretty. I don't know. Like Damn, star. Dude, okay, slides me with it. Like a lot of other weapons in Gemini's arsenal. Watch that barrel, dude. You pointed it right at the player. Right. With your finger on the trigger. Muzzle discipline, motherfucker. I shouldn't say anything. That'll delay one other year. And it was We're loaded. To suck. A and it was loaded. Authenticity through world traversals, right back to him. running, jumping, and climbing. Interactions with objects and the environment. He must have passed his strength check. Solid weapon <laughs> gameplay <laughs> and enemy <laughs> reactions. Right. As well as combat realities, such as weapon malfunctions. This, this is the thing I can't wait for. Or in weapon close yeah. encounters of the more yeah. lethal kind. <laughs> Oh damn! No sand more. Heard in the morning. It's not over. They may show it yet. As we continue it's to the focus night on face the quality the you guys see experience, it? we've been yeah. working closely yeah. with our art wow. teams, and <laughs> it's been exciting to see their environments come to life alongside us. Needs more polish. While animation and design yeah. has been populated in locations, out of the water. polish phase for my teams means making right? huge advancements. Well, I can jump out of the water like I could. Fucking environments. Starfield. We've established <laughs> our standard with recognizable characters like Mark yeah, Hamill, funny. Julian Anderson, and Gary Oldman, and we're now applying this to the rest of the cast and identifying any remaining tech requirements that need to be closed out. The story of Squadron 42 yeah, they still takes got a little ways to go, a variety though. of diverse locations of varying scales and styles. We shared glimpses of several environments before, and there's still plenty out there for you to discover. One of the main challenges download. the art team has had to face during the development of Squadron 42 is ensuring the visuals I'm gonna need my own SSD just for Squadron 42. The right. The mood and feeling of a space is just as important to us as it is making sure we hit the visual quality that CIG has become known for. No good, we can't hack it from this side. Graves, we got a locked door. Can you give us access? No, I'm afraid that's a negative, Steve. Uh, I would have to add you to our system to give you override permissions, and uh, yeah, there's a lot involved in that. It won't happen quickly. Okay, we'll figure something out. Use the force, Everything Luke. Everything you see during the campaign has been heavily inspired by the classics of 70s and 80s sci-fi, but with a modern twist. We want everything you see to feel like it has a soul, its own personality, what the fuck is that? and tells of a history oh, long before you arrived. That looks cool. This looks really cool too. Crafting interesting Imagine flight spaces in here. and their connecting tissue right? has been one of the more unique challenges we've needed to overcome for Squadron. Developing our VDB tech to blend seamlessly between tighter traversal spaces and into wider space vistas and planets has proved incredibly I will say this, Twitch chat rewarding. is like, you know, it's Ensuring all smoke until it's in our hands seamlessly and this is one chapter like to the that. next. Yeah. Well, this yeah. is actually the most I've shown in a long... I was... Creating a diverse array of I was just thinking that, actually. Our environments need to work from a variety of scales. Is that California? We need to pay close attention Not to the Not for BS. Whether we're the beginning working of in a dirty thing. engineering I'm event. Taking that back. Or navigating the debris of a dying star. Wondering what may be around that next corner. Or even who may live there. How would they have survived? And what state of mind may they Still be no in? Still no release date. I just hope that he doesn't look at this later, read Twitch chat, watch YouTube reviews and shit, or not YouTube reviews, we YouTube videos, our social and decide to scrap it all start again. Social experience. Right. When you're taking or game's gonna have like an hour of video break in this down. And FPS missions. Or even missions of the more eerie kind. I just want to talk about what I've seen in the breakdown video, so go ahead and like and subscribe. Yeah. You doing board gamer? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to buy that VPN. Not VPN. What do you think, Zen? New space stations on a massive scale, 
all brought together and designed to be as tangible as possible. Yeah, sucks, sucks, we bro. thought about their Give function, their age, and try to ensure there's a progression in artistic style Ace with Raider. each station as you progress That's through the game. That's kind of right there. Yeah. Right? I love the augmented reality above the pennies. Oh yeah. Looks sweet. As you can see today, the teams are working incredibly hard, ramping up the detail and quality to match the breadth of our vision citizen. for Squadron 42. We're supposed to. It's supposed to be like interactive consoles and stuff. Yeah, that's What's the that shit? Supposedly now, I know you're all tech. asking, when can I play it? Yep. When can I play it? When yeah, we have the locked release date, you will be the first to know. Now we're in polishing phase on Squadron 42. You will start to see a lot more things coming to Star Citizen, as well as overall progress on the Persistent Universe. The polish phase can take some time. Minimum a year. We've God, gone this far, no. and we want to make I, sure Squadron 42 delivers really on the promise of being squadron. this generation's wing commander. To now, even though fixed there's, fixed there's only a few of us in this video, I'd like to extend well, that, a big thank you said. to all he our staff around the globe. Start We've been putting their heart and soul into bringing Squadron 42 to life. I would like to thank everyone in the community for your patience, and your support. To paraphrase Admiral Bishop, when people ask, what did you do in the development squadron 42? You can look them in the eye and I say, paid money. I held the line. Fucking I. I'm proud to stand with you. So do you think Thank the next you for making this game. The of the next year is supposed to be super packed. I, I, I squadron 42, so we'll see. We'll see. I don't yeah, I was going to say, I, I agree with you, Kana. The next four quarters need to be packed full of features coming to the PU. Yeah. That's what he says. So, I mean, Absolutely we'll fast. see. Angle. I don't have much faith. It's not the first time they said stuff like this. That's that is true. That's very very true. But the important thing is, like he said, at least a year before we hear anything about Squadron Forty Two. That's the most important thing I heard from him. Yeah, and he didn't even say. In a year, he just said at least a year. Yeah, well, he because he only gave us a year up a year outline update, so we don't even know what they're going to be doing two years from now. <laughs> so we'll probably find out next Citizen Con what's going to happen the next year. Oh, yeah. he's having a moment, guys. Maybe this means it really is almost done. It may be. I mean, he's having a pretty strong emotional reaction. He didn't react like that last year. Dude, you need a tissue? Are you okay? Major, yeah. I'm not making fun of him. I mean, seriously. Uh, so I'd be pretty happy. So much. Mm -hmm. uh, it's... It's been definitely yeah, a long it, time He coming. wasn't like this We're, last year. That's, see, that's what I'm saying. He wasn't in that, tears last that's, year. That's, Squadron 42. Looks like he's about ready to lose so it. And I'm not making fun really of the guy. Please, please understand that. And, uh, we're oh, really I, I proud get you. Of what it yeah. Is, I mean, it's, anyway, I, I think it's going to be something I'm very, very proud of. Um, so oh. I can't wait for you guys. Uh, oh, there's tomato. The, I'm not going to say when, but anyway. Um, well, follow <laughs> Jeez. Uh, and anyway, we kind of spent the time to craft something that's that beautiful with as much attention to detail and love without your guys' support, just like we couldn't be building the universe as Star Citizen without all your guys' Tony support. Tony Pyro. So I When's am, Pyro coming? on my side, incredibly grateful, right. uh, as question. is everybody at CIG, for your continued support, because we're I think building Pyro... the next year. I'm, a universe of dreams. Mm, we might I mean, start seeing it in PTU dreams, in, a couple, in, uh, a really, yeah, in a couple. It's a really in a couple uh, of quarters. Wonderful thing to be able to um, do. Well, as we're supposed to get the playground. Uh, so at thank the end you, of the month. everyone here, yeah. everyone mm -hmm. watching, playground everyone who supports Star Citizen and the, the preview, the, the, the so preview you, channel, guys, Walk very, of the Pirates, October thirty first. Well, I imagine it'll be limited at first, and then they'll branch out from there and get more and more peeps. Yeah, it's um, it's like a raffle ticket to the people that bought digital goodie bags and people that went to the con. And then after that, it's its standard five then, phases. But I'd like to, I would like, like to, to see I, I, maybe we get Pyro and PTU here. And it's been, uh, early an next year. Job. Tyler Whitkin uh, headed yeah. up. There's a lot of other people. Maybe. I mean, obviously Jared's been doing his great job emceeing. Uh, Leah has been organizing the show, and there's a thousand other people that are part of our community and marketing side that have been doing it. There's been volunteers that have been helping to do this. 
uh, our sh uh, uh, the companies that we've had, like Envision, have put the video and stuff all together. So everyone's done an amazing job of the show. So thank you to everyone. And sorry if I didn't call everyone out by name, because there'd be a lot of names I had to call them out. But putting all that together, and thank you to all the devs that worked really hard to put the presentations together for you guys, because I think you can feel that they really love what they do, and they're very passionate about what they do. And they're really excited to get it into your guys' hands. So anyway, with that, I think I would say thank you, everyone. I'm really excited about what we've got upcoming in the future, because a lot of the foundational tech, the persistent entity streaming, and you saw server meshing uh, earlier on yesterday, uh, is enables a lot of the stuff that's going to come to the PU, like the base building and the persistent hangers. Uh, so I am incredibly excited by 24 and beyond. And um, anyway, thank you guys for supporting. I'm excited for the base building. The I just don't want to have to own and multiple. Thank you so much for coming hundred, out. Hundreds to, of dollars uh, ships to do share it. Share this with us. Well, I'm a little confused right. because initially they said you had to have a pioneer to build a base, um, and that's how they sold the pioneer. I, I no think pyro. The way no. They were showing it. Was, no pyro. Um, the the pioneer is like uh, your 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 large fabricator for mm -hmm. for building the stuff. So you would need it to build your 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 like uh, your starter stuff, your big buildings and all that. Mm. Um, my understanding of it was different. Was that there'd be the pioneer, and you would build the modules on the pioneer, and then it would land and drop, basically poop the module onto the ground. Mm -hmm and then fly off. But from what we saw, they were like, it was wire, almost like a wire frame, and then poop it was there. Maybe that was just done for visual effect. Maybe. But it, it I'm, I'm, I don't mm -hmm. know. Did it, no did it end off. for you guys? Yeah. Uh, no I don't have any more audio. I have a still image now. Yeah. yeah I Maybe think the stream officially ended. On. Stream officially ended. Because he was saying, like, you, you have you your pioneer or you have to build mm -hmm. up to get a fabric you jt at your base so i think like if you don't have the pioneer it's like uh, an awful grind to get up to the point to being able to do what you could do if you had the pioneer mm -hmm. or know so someone who has one the, yeah, yeah or know someone that has one you know start yeah. building the modules and all that which then you can have the gameplay loop where people pay you to mm -hmm. bring the pioneer out yeah, I've got a regular viewer that's uh, that stated they'll 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 build the base for us if we provide the materials, and I said sure, no problem. And in return, we would mine mine and find materials so he could build his base. Yeah, because I'd I'd get the if the miss was it the miss expanse comes out, I'd get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the refinery ship mm -hmm. so it would make it a lot easier. Oh hell yeah! Because you can build a mining laser and refine right there at the same spot. Yep, and you could also mine. I have a feeling that that's why some of those commodities are in there that aren't worth very much. You know, like, why why is it that we would have mineable iron? Well, it's the pull for that. Well, the pull for that is something out. you need to build, yeah. I still say they Apparently should put missions in where you, where you mine, mine stuff to build bases or fix bases or fix stations, just like they do mm -hmm. in the Elite with, uh, with the community goals, remember? Well, I think they showed... Uh some some kind of like glimmer for something kind of like that yesterday where he was at a station uh going around with his multi-tool and supplies repairing stuff mm -hmm. yeah that's true yeah it, it, there might be a hope where you're going around doing stuff like that could be because this is you know building ships so that's probably like something the pioneer will be doing too to be your ship builder at a at a base Well, I am really surprised they didn't offer another ship for sale. No other ship for sale. No pyro. No release. Well, they still have IAE. Them. Next month, they mm. said it just, they're going to be showing all the industry yeah. stuff. So I think we'll hear about all that for for the base building stuff here next month. Mm. All your yeah, crafting and commodity stuff, mining ships, refining, gas refining. We'll probably hear all about that next month. 
Yeah, that's true. Because they even said uh, industrial ships. We won't hear about that until next month, too, when they were doing the ship release. When they were talking about all the new ships. Oh, yeah. So, like, you'll notice there's no industry ships. Nope. Yep, no in- industry. No industry. Yeah, they, said, they said all next month, next month you'll get that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, what do you guys think? Uh, the the no pyro is not in the PT, PTU what? next month. It goes pyro to a special is, a special type of PTU. Goes, yeah, it's called yeah. the play, the the pyro playland, and only concierge. Well, excuse me, only the people that bought the goodie bags and the people that went to the con get raffled into it first. Then after yeah. that, it goes down the first uh down the the five waves that and you know they chase who was at the con he's he says that it's done now in my opinion and i'm sure everybody has differing opinions but if it's done like if it's done if they don't have server meshing and they want to push it out like they were saying remember earlier this year they were saying at one point they wanted to push it with no loading screens Mm mm-hmm if they push it with no loading or with or push it with loading screens if they push it with loading screens then i could see it coming out Mm -hmm. early early next year like spring like not even spring like like february march yeah that's true yeah they 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 didn't give any kind of hinting on that though no they didn't everything they showed showed it's going to be the physical eyes you jump Mm -hmm. in that warm portal and it's going to physically move you along space yeah which wouldn't Mm -hmm. be so bad for a server load because you'll be going through zones and deloading everything you don't need to load so as you're going through the the colonoscopy of space (laughs) it doesn't matter what's going on in anywhere because you're in the colonoscopy you know you're you're coming out the space butthole that's a hell of a way to put that you know, a lot of people wouldn't even notice the difference anyway. No. Yeah. You come out of the space butthole, and then, you, you you know, you render everything in. You'll start streaming everything. Mm-hmm. But you only stream that one zone, so it's really fast. So you don't see it, like, building everything yeah. in front of you. Yeah, they you, could... Boom, you come out instantly there. Well, I'm going to get going, guys. I'll catch you later. I'll see you. All right, All right, have a good one. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Now, one thing they could do with theirs, and there's, there's a caveat to it, but... One second, yeah. Blackjack. No, no, no. You go ahead. I'm, I'm going to respond to Blackjack in a moment. Uh go ahead, dude. Do it. Okay. The big announcement that you missed was that they are feature complete on Squadron 42. So now it's just polishing and obviously marketing the game. Once once they get to a certain point, they also said that everything that was shown in and you may have been there, but everything that was shown in Citizen Con this year, they're going to try to push it out within the next 12 months. Does that mean it will be done? Not necessarily, but they're going to try to push it out in the next 12 months. It's a lot of our opinions, both on this panel, what we saw on Twitch, and what we're seeing here, that we're probably going to see a lot of people pushing being pushed away from squadron 42 and into the P doing work in the mm-hmm. PU. So hopefully all of this does come true. Like I, I am yeah. really so, hoping that it comes true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So everyone who was making content for squadron 42 should now be making content for star Citizen. there should be no new content for squadron 42 being made. Cause that's, you know, that's what feature complete means. You know, there's no yeah. more maps, no more missions, no mm-hmm. more items. Look, Nothing. Nothing new is being made. The only thing that could happen is some stuff can get cut to, to, you know, finish polishing and make deadlines. No, no, I could, I could see the team that's in work. You know, that's in charge of like visuals, audio, graphics effects. I could totally see them being locked into SQ forty two for the next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like putting signs on billboards and stuff like that. Oh yeah, pictures, yeah. All, all the little polish shit. That's what. That's what they're going to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But all game elements for Squadron 42 are in place. And so now they can all make. Are you leaving, Bob? Citizen. Oh, seven. I like, and that's the other thing too. Like, um, don't get confused about them saying that 
Star Citizens Pyro is going to PTU, it's going to a special PTU, like an offshoot PTU. Mm-hmm. It's it's not going to be in a PTU like what we normally see. Yeah, it's, you know, it's probably not going to be on the even on the PTU server. So it mm-hmm. might even be a little bit more jank than like PTU is. Yeah, because. Uh, at the beginning of all of this, at the beginning, the beginning of day one, Chris was saying that three point two two is going to is going to be out by the end of the year. So I I have a feeling that if that's going to be out by the end of the year, then Pyro is going to be kind of pushed off to a little bit further. I could definitely see. So I think they're going to move the goalposts again for 4.0. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Like I, I, like I said, I see Pyro possibly coming out February, March of next year. And then 4.0 is no longer going to be the Pyro patch. It's going to be the server meshing patch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, the TDLR, everything that they, they said to us, right, that over the next four quarters, you know, not, not including the end of this year, but the next four quarters, uh, everything we saw in CitizenCon, they plan to have out. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, but we do know that there are certain steps to get to that, right? Because if you cannot do server meshing, the replication where they show the three zone room, if you can't get that, you're not getting anything else after that. No. You, you might get all these ships and stuff because that doesn't rely on that. Uh, maybe not both capital ships, not the Idris and the Polaris. You might just get one. Um, but, you know, and if that doesn't happen, then let's say that's scheduled to be done Q1, but doesn't get, get done until almost Q3. All your Q4 shit's out the fucking window. That's next True. year. True. True. So that's something to keep in mind and remember when we're watching the development come up with Star Citizen, that there are some things in place that are roadblocks. So no matter if, let's say, they get Pyro completely ready, but mm-hmm. the block in front of Pyro can't get done, you're, ne- you're not going to get Pyro. Yeah, it's the lock to the door. Yeah, mm-hmm. you got to build the hallway f- from one room to the next room. Even if the next room's done, if you don't have that hallway to get there, you're screwed. Yeah. So we'll just keep in mind in, on that stuff too. I mean, that's what they were saying. This is if everything goes as planned, the the next four quarters will be popping with all the stuff we saw in Citizen Con. And we'll get Squadron 42 release date next year at the end of the fourth quarter, probably in December. They'll probably drop a Squadron 42 release date. Probably, which would probably be like spring. The next fall in December, yeah. Yeah, or or maybe even December, like you said. Yeah. I wonder if they'll do a special PTU for people to test Squadron. I don't know. The people who have all, you know, who, who, who have that. Yeah, it'd be cool to do like copy a, a whatever I guess. Release. Yeah, you know, get you know, get you know, get people who have it already, get them in there to test it and debug it. Yeah, you know, kind of like the PT. I mean, it seems like that would be the smart way to do it before you release it, right? Yeah, I mean, since they're feature complete, I mean, yeah, that's what I would think. One, like, one like, would hope. Yeah, that would be a good time to start testing everything. Because mm-hmm. so I mean. We saw a lot of weird stuff in the video, you know, NPCs acting weird. Yeah, not tripping over cables and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I would hate for a lot of stuff to get missed because they're like, okay, well, we're not going to test it. Good luck. Um, So I'm going to get going here in a couple of minutes, but what do you guys think were the big takeaways from the two days, the two day event? I think like, the is, biggest one, Squadron being feature complete. To me, that's good news. I, even though I don't give a shit about Squadron, it means that those developers can now move back over to the PU where, where I personally want them. That's a good That's a good one. How about you, Can? Anything from you? Um, the gunplay change, FPS change, is oh, really yeah. nice. I love that a lot. Um, I also like the, the fact that Squadron 42 has been told to us now it's feature complete. I hope it's true. Mm-hmm. I know Star Citizen has been whooped once before about lying about how far they are on progress. Um, and then the the um, more of your your crafting system and the base building and all that 
finally getting a serious look at now. Yeah, you they know, said they were more just. Than, they sorry, said they were just, just like starting to just develop talk. that. Yeah, it looks like they're a little bit further because it's more than just you know talk. They actually have um, some, some of that stuff they were showing. Yeah, some of that uh, they were showing us was um, you know a vertical slice, and some of it looked like it was uh, in game. I'm about to go back and uh, rewatch some of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it looked like some of it might have been running with the engine. Yeah. Which would it, be which would be huge if it was. Adam is saying, is that news? I thought Feature Complete was already out there. I think you're correct. I think it was already out there, but actually hearing it from the man's face live on mm -hmm. stage, um yeah. I think is what is the big news. And uh, you know, I've only been here for slightly less than two years this is my second citizen con i'm sure pagan probably knows more than i do but i've, I've gone through and tried to watch as many sitcoms as i can um like ab abbreviated so to speak versions of those and i don't think i've seen i don't think i've seen good old christ roberts this emotional about coming on stage and talking about squadron 42 so yeah I mean, what i what i think um adam is it's because like we heard something during the break like uh big announcement squadron 42 release date coming out which didn't happen right mm -hmm. um, i think it's a lot of like murmurs on the street somebody heard from somebody else say you know mm -hmm. oh it, it's feature complete yeah, because the way he said it and announced it, you know, like he said it with such passion. Like, guys, big news: Squadron Forty Two is finally uh, feature complete. Yeah, he was very, very emotional like too. A, yeah, it felt like a first time announcement. Yeah, yeah, I'm just surprised Sandy wasn't there on stage with him. Yeah, I, I, she he should have brought her out with him. They'll totally uh, agree. Should have. Uh, maybe um, he did. Maybe he would have cried. She was mm, there. He, pro mm -hmm. he probably would have. He mm -hmm. probably would have. Because they started this together, right? I think she joined him. No, they were married when he started. That's right, because she asked yeah. him what he was working on. I was like, oh, it's just some game thing I was toying around with. So, so here's mm -hmm. here's my thing. Here's here's my takes, and then I, I gotta I gotta get going. I need to eat and shower and all of that stuff. Here's my thing. I am super excited for the FPS stuff. That was really, really cool. Um, some of the the prettying up of the verse, I'm really looking forward to. Like, you you can call me shallow if you want, but um, being able to low fly over lakes and oceans and have the water spray up behind me, I've been looking mm -hmm. forward to that for a long, long time. Um, as far as anything else i think squadron 42 being feature complete is like the biggest deal to me because i feel like they can actually move forward and move forward quickly you know i i wasn't space bub if you're still watching this like i wasn't trying to come after you and be like well nothing's been done and your opinion's wrong but like when you said you know a lot's been done since 318 and you know you say 10 ships have been added and I forget what else you said, but 10 ships have been added. Cargo has been added. That doesn't seem like a lot to me. And it doesn't seem like a lot to me, especially when those 10 ships don't really push forward any sort of legitimate gameplay. Like the hull C it's, it's a fantastic ship. It's a cool ship, but it, what does it actually do? You can only it, it's all surface level. It's like, yeah, just, that's the problem too. It's like, yeah, they added salvage, but it's, you're just scraping the hull. That's it. Right. There's, you know, um, um, there's, but don't get me wrong. There's a lot of quality of life changes that have been implemented since 318 has dropped. Hey, and I'm still of the proponent that PES isn't working 100% correct. I'd say maybe 75, 80% correct. Maybe you guys feel different, but that's about where I think it's working. If it was working, we'd already have it. Mm -hmm. PES. Well, I think Correct. we have PES. I just think yeah. that the problem is, is that everything stays too long and everything stays cluttered up for so long that 
I think that that is now the major problem that we have with 30 Ks. It's not, it's not anything particular that the players are doing other than playing the game. And now you got 30 ships over here that are, you know, wrecked out. You got pop bottles all over the stations yeah, well, and medical gowns the, the everywhere. Way, the way Star Citizen works now. So if you remember back to the three zone video mm -hmm. they showed us, Mm -hmm. uh, the way Star Citizen works now, it still has all the zones and everything. So you have your big zone for the whole system to stand, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have your planets, your stations, and all your other little zones and everything. But they're all independent of each other. So all of Stanton has to be present for, you know, the smallest thing on a random moon on Microtech to, to be working. And if, you know, you cause a big-ass problem in another zone since they're all right now linked and loading at the same time if you've got six million rat turds in a cave in Daymar, <laughs> you know <laughs> the dude at microtech has to fucking deal with that shit because all these zones are inside of each other basically loaded at the same time okay versus okay. being all so separate makes... and being able to load in on each other as a mesh server okay that makes sense but i still i yeah i think pes works but it works against us in a lot of ways. Yeah, and when you get server meshing, that PES won't matter because when it deloads all that information, it's it's gone. Nobody has to deal with that until somebody comes near it, and then it'll stream all that data back in. Which will be nice. The, um, I'm trying to think of some other things that I was really looking forward to. The settlements. I really liked the settlements, and I really liked the uh, the the corporate bunkers that they were showing off. Those looked really fun. Yeah. Now, here's a question: Since all of this is supposed to come in the next four quarters, what order of what we saw do you think they're going to come in? Which quarter? I think Pyro. I'll go first. I think Pyro uh, will, is going to try to be uh, second quarter. That's a fair point, Pagan. I think quarter one, they're going to try to do server meshing and get all that done. Quarter two, they're going to try to do pyro and everything. Uh, quarter three, they're going to try to do the performance. And then quarter four at the end, they're going to try to drop out um, the um, base building and crafting. I hope so. I think I hope it's so. going to happen in that order. I hope so. I just like I said, I can't get a, I can't get enough of the uh, FPS stuff and mm -hmm. the the corporate bunkers and mm -hmm. yeah the settlements. I really want settlements to be rep based. I really really want that. Like I really really want rep based stations settlements. Yeah, and I think that's going to be the Cure Four update the the game the game feature update. See, I feel, and this is going to be my last point before I go. <laughs> And once again, Bub, I don't think I was attacking you at all. Like, we just have differing opinions is all. I think this coming year, 20, 2024, this coming year, I feel is going to be the most stuffed, most ramped up, most amazing things that we've seen in Star Citizen. But they have to make it happen. Yeah. But I think this will be the year where we actually see giant leaps taken if they do it right if they can actually do it and i think yeah. they can let's see let's hope let's all pray for christ robert to bless us with <laughs> server meshing and replication in q1 right because <laughs> literally I... star citizen's breath is being held by that yep and, and like like we've been said several times if if they can figure this stuff out and get it implemented and now that they have more hands on the PU or should be, um, we should, we should see some of the biggest stuff we've seen ever. Yeah. And you'll start seeing a lot more players because it'll be so much more stable. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. But yeah, so, I don't so want more to do I, I, like, I'm kind of upset because I, I did kind of come off like I was coming after bub. Um, I, I've had you guys on push to talk the whole time and it was a while ago, but he was saying that a lot had come out since 318. And I, I, I really disagree that that much has come out since 318. Yeah, That's... I don't, I don't feel like it has either. Um, no, the version of Pez that we have is big. 
I will say that the version of PES that we currently use is big. Um, I think that's a big part, but they did, they did release some ships, but I kind of, I, I can see both perspectives. It does seem like a lot of new stuff came out from a certain perspective, but in other, I mean, if you really look at it though, it's just parallels to something that was already there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, th- I think one of the biggest quality of life updates we've ever had came this year, and that was well, two of them really. Mm-hmm. That was the the initial cargo refactor in three eighteen, yeah, and then mm-hmm. the the changes to the box sizes in three twenty. Those to me were the two biggest pieces of quality of life that we could ever get. But outside of that, I, I, you know, to me, salvaging isn't really not much more is not really much more than mining it is mining. But it's mining it, ships instead it's, yeah it's just yeah. mining um yeah. but yeah well that's where i stand but anyways guys i gotta i gotta get going i i've been sitting in front of a computer all day i'm sure all you guys want to go and eat and do your stuff too hang out with your loved ones so with that guys i'm gonna get out of here go eat shower shave all that fun stuff uh um, Bye. Bye. You guys all have a good one. Thanks for joining. Peace. Later. All right. uh, We're going to end my recording as well. So y'all have a good night.